Yes, yes, and yes. We're back. Guilty Gear Revelator Top 8. Make oh, some noise yeah. for Guilty Gear, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm here for. I love this. This is my game. I mean, I'm not in Top 8. But <laughs> Don't worry, neither am I. This is what I'm here for. We got a sick Top 8 coming up. Oh, it's going to be fantastic, guys. It's going to be absolutely great. I'm Can't Tasty Steve. And I'm the beautiful dude. Nice to meet you guys. You're the beautiful dude? Beautiful. Are there other beautiful dudes? Not as beautiful as I am. Okay. See, that was the best answer possible. There you go. You're good at this. Damn, I like it. Okay. All that narcissism. <laughs> so, we're going to get started right now. Um, our first match up, I believe, is the legendary, the fabled oh my God. Black Snake versus the internet master Lost, Lost Soul. Like, who else do you want? This is going to be a crazy match. At the it's going to be a really crazy match. So how do you feel? What, what, what are you thinking about this match right now? Because it's going to be Venom versus Elfo. You know, we played in the team tournament. And right. last time I checked, it was really close. It went down to the wire. But I feel like... I feel like uh, Lost Soul has the tools to get through Venom's normals, like you low pro up with 2H. Right. I think he knows his matchup pretty well, you know, who's Dino and um, Charles Dino in New mm -hmm. York. And I think he has Venom experience at least, I, I think. Okay. So I think it's going to be pretty tough for, um, for Black Snake. I don't know how much elbow experience he has, but I think it's going to go either way. Ditto. I, I, I completely agree. We do have to be, he does have to be careful. And he can low pro profile a lot of the options that Venom has, but you have to remember that Black Snake is the master of setups, like ball formations oh, yeah. and setups. So it's like, you're going to be like, hey, I'm a low profile, and then a ball comes off screen and hits you. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what? what just happened? That gets me too. It's the worst. Oh, sick. <laughs> we're looking at the intros. That's how you know these guys are real anime oh, yeah. players, because Absolutely. we're looking at the intros. Yeah, they want to see the cool stuff. Exactly. They want, they want the set. You know, they want to set the stage, you know? And Revelator is the newest version of Guilty Gear. It is available in Japan right now, but we have the demo version available, and it comes out, what, next week? Yes, it does. Let's go. Yeah, That's going to be insane. I can't wait. Definitely going to pick it up, and I definitely suggest all of you do the same. All right, first match, winner's bracket. Let's go. Okay, nice 2S. Oh. He answered with 2S of his own. Nice. Starts that Pineberry pressure. This is where Lost Soul excels. He does a really good job of making you think all hope is lost. Nice. Makes him with the 2S. Gets knocked down the 6H. Rips immediately. Just want to do a bit. Ooh, nice early burst. Choosing not to hit back the Pineberry. And that leaves him in a bad position. He's going to take all this pressure in the corner. Yeah, there's not a lot Venom can do to get out of the corner. As it, oh, he almost low profile. Wow. Okay. Wow. Lawso doing an amazing job of making sure that he's not getting any time to do any setups. Wow, and he goes into super. Absolutely. Oh, that wedding cake. Caught you cheating, the split up. All right, nice, nice. Right, First round, Lawso. Oh, far slash counter hit. That's always rough. Ugh, Gets overhead. Lots of pressure. That is a black beat combo, but that combo damage is still going to count. Oh, oh my god. Like right Every, everybody oh, gets shot. No. This is exactly what Black Snake does not want. Oh, he gets air grabbed as well. It's not over yet, folks. But look, now looking real good. Nice YRC to okay. stuff the input. Gives you a, a, a second chance right there. An extra. Oh, oh, wow. He wanted that up ball to hit. He wanted that up ball to hit. Quite. That's why he did the deflect off the ground. That was actually really smart. It was, but unfortunately, it didn't exactly work out for Black Snake. You know, now he's taking a sip of his coffee right now, kind of trying to contemplate what went wrong, which is what a smart player definitely does. Just don't immediately go to rematch. Think about what happened. It's me. The thinking man's Venom player. And you yeah. got to be a thinking man to play a character like Venom. Oh, absolutely. You can't just... Uh, you can't go in all willy-nilly hitting buttons. No, definitely and you got to make sure there. you know what's exactly happening. Nine ball is a complicated a complicated game of pool, you know? As the camera zooms in on Black Snakes ever that so intensity. slowly. Like, just ever so slowly. You can see the concentration, the fur on his brow. I like, like it. I like it. Let's see, let, let's see what this rebuttal is about. Okay. Oh, nice. There you go. Using those balls to make sure those formations are set up specifically to make sure that Elfil can't hop over them and not pursue just as easily. Very smart from Black Snake, but oh, okay, gets a knockdown. This could be the start right here. Oh, nice. I like how he faked and went low, but, uh, but lost oh, still nice lost Nice confirm right there. And then, that's what I mean. Those ball formations are really going to make the difference in this matchup. You're right. Okay, gets a knockdown. Uh, even if you IB, it's still pretty rough for Venom. His normals are not exactly the fastest. This matchup, I feel like it's all about the oh, proper no. dead angle and the keep out. This is looking really bad right now. This should be it. And it is so much 
damage. Oh my god. <laughs> His life just disappeared. Yeah, completely. man. That is so, so rough. Alright. Alright, gets the teleport. Oh, wow. No confirm. After. Oh, tries to back nice. dash and gets caught. Okay, overhead. Oh, Reverse. look how much damage was lost so fast. My turn. Oh, yo. This watch nice. me go. Look at the... Every time I see his combos, they never get old. They literally never get old. It looks so cool. You don't know what a hard combo is until you see a Venom oh, combo. Oh, here we go. See, Black Snake is not done yet. He's not. He's determined not to make this free. He's not giving up. Okay, Bishop. Oh, right wow. Yo, oh, hold all this chip. Let's go. Look oh at this. My hold God. all this chip. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. And Black Snake gets the perfect. The blackest of snakes. I mean, he's he's white, but you, you get the yeah, point. You, exactly. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. That was sick. Oh my God, That's exactly what sick. I wanted to see. Okay. All right, let's go. I bees it, but the grenade is there to cover him. Nice block from Black Snake. Uh oh. Oh, gets the air throw. This is a bad position to be yeah, in for Black Snake. In the corner against Lawson's uh, Elfo. Not the fondest look. I feel like new blitz definitely helps out in the situation for oh, Elfo in the corner. This is a new game, and even though a lot of people have been playing the demo for a while, it's still a little weird to get used to. Yeah, I, I still get blown up by all the time. It's just something to forget. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. What a clash. And nice awareness there by Black Snake to keep the pressure up. Gets the knockdown in the corner. And we saw what he can do in the corner. Let's see what happens. All right. Let's see if he knows how to get out. And he does. Nice escape from Lawso. Gets out of the corner. Oh, using it to take... Oh, oh. oh, no. This is tough. This is bad. This is tough. Oh, 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 this might be it. Oh, oh, Yo, no, don't do it not like this. Oh, oh not man, like this. anime sequence. Now, uh, put like this that's not a real pop. Oh, and he poses in Lost Souls defense. He instant kills everybody. It's true, that's true. no matter that's what. True. Saw him instant kill his little brother once. He didn't even know how to play the game. It was ridiculous. <laughs> you would do that. He would do that. <laughs> he would do he that. He's like, you know, I gotta teach you this game. Okay. So, that's going to put Black Snake in losers. He's not out of the tournament. That was the winner's bracket. Yeah, that's true. So, next up, we do have Elven Shadow versus PG Marlin. Ooh, that's going to be a great match. I can't wait to see that. I mean, yeah. the thing is, now, both of these guys, let me, let me correct myself. Frosty Faustings Elven Shadow versus PG Marlin Pie. Now, Marlin Pie just recently sponsored for Guilty Gear. thing yeah, is, sure. he's Shout not a player. new player. He's, he's been a godlike player. And guilty gear for years on top of years. He's been playing this game for years, absolute <laughs> years. You know, been around the box. Been playing since what? I mean, before reload. For before reload, he's been. <laughs> a, he, he's he's an OG. He's been there with me for quite some time. That's awesome. You know, and it's amazing to see. You know, his his uh, his results come to fruition. You know, he got sponsored by Panda Global. Panda Global. Right? Yes, yes, yes. And on top of that, we lost to them in the team tournament last That's true. the other night. So, that was unfortunate. <laughs> so I'm kind of rooting, you know, for Elven Shadow. But I, a little bit of bias. <laughs> I mean, I just want everybody to do well, though. I just hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. This is Combo Breaker, one of the sickest, if not the sickest venue I've ever been in for a tournament. It's incredible. I've been doing this for a long time, and this is definitely the sickest venue I've ever been Second in. Second to Evo. Yeah, I actually honestly can't decide whether the Evo one or this is better. Like, this has everything. The three pools? The yeah, two pools? Yeah, like, yeah. come on. Oh, man, that's that's so good. So, anyways, now what we're gonna see here is Elven Shadow is gonna be playing Faust versus Zato. I like that matchup. For of course, you like that matchup. You're a Zato <laughs> player. <laughs> now the thing is, now the thing is, is that I'm pretty sure Elven Shadow. Well, I know he has a lot of experience in this matchup. But on the same note, I'm pretty sure Mr. Marlon Pye has a lot of experience in this matchup as well. Absolutely. Marlon Pye, not a stranger to playing online either. That's so. He plays an aggressive, he gets a pretty aggressive Zato. So I want to see what Elvin can do to adapt to that. Because there is, Huddle in this game really changes the matchup a lot. Every time, every time Faust goes up for a bag, Nobby can come up from underground. And exactly. So he's got to be really careful. Try to destroy the puddles whenever he can. I'm interested to see what you do here. Okay. Okay. That that's really good. That's that's better insight, especially if you if you're a Zato player. What what bothers you in this matchup fighting Faust? What bothers me? Um, if he gets me that distance where he can smack me with JH when I'm trying to drill, uh -huh. it's really annoying. So you gotta get him at that distance where his normals can't reach you, but your drills can, so you can counter him. Okay. He's trying to do something. Like, he extends his hurt box every single time he does a normal. So you can smack him that way. So you just got to keep him at that distance where he can't touch you, but you can touch him. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 
one. I feel like that's going to be one of the one of the major things in this matchup. And almost every Zotto matchup is the fact that if he touches you with Little Eddie out on the screen, you're going to be blocking for a while. Yeah, it's Knowing where those holes are when you have to faultless out to keep him out because he still has command throw pressure guessing game. So it's like, hey, I'm going to have pressure on you. I'm going to have Little Eddie buzzsaw yep. dash in either regular throw or damn fang. You try to hit a button in between any one of those, he can pick up and confirm into a combo. Yeah, no, we do options like this. Exactly. The God. <laughs> and if anybody <laughs> can confirm God. into this, it's Marlon Pike. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Not, not only known for his Guilty Gear prowess, a, a Marvel God. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, so ridiculous. sick. Ridiculous. All right, let's see what we got going to the first game. All right, there's that bomb back to start off. Really low to the ground, going my way. Wants to make sure he's not too far off the ground. Is, right now, I like what Elvin Shadow is doing, just being aggressive, not letting Marlon Pye summon. Oh, but just as I say that, gets the knockdown. And this is what I was talking about. Here's that pressure. Oh, nice bait goes for underground. And there's that Nobudu you were talking about right yep, there. Absolutely. Nobudu always puts in work. Also, even though Zato seems a little intimidating, he does not have as much life as a bunch of the other characters. Oh, so, definitely not. Oh, wow. Little Eddie just gets blown up. Literally blown up. Oh, oh, tries to go for six wow. feet, but just a little too slow. There's that barrel again. Nice YRC. That keeps his momentum going. And he gives him a, little, uh, a second chance to think about it. Gets the wall stick. Okay. Shadow oh. Gallery uh, into Mawaru. I love doing that. It makes it. It makes your Shadow Gallery pretty much safe. Okay. Oh. Nice block on nice the 6H. Nice block on the 6H. Bomb bag. Oh, wow. Really nice pace there by Elvin Shadow. Knows that he's going to go for that 6P anti-air. Right now, Elvin Shadow is... The donut. Exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, great. Oh, jump S. Oh, my God. It's a 6H. Wow. Elvin Shadow. And as you can see, the pace of this match is a lot slower than normal. That's only because you have to be really careful versus his auto play. Oh, yeah. You can't make any mistakes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, poor little Eddie just gets completely smacked by the hammer. Oh, my God. Nice combo damage right here. Gets the black hole. Oh, my God. Command throw. Meteors. Oh, tries to work. Grab does not work. Oh, it's so a, much damage. Oh, gets it's the standing 5K. 5K. Oh, wow. Oh, so smart. Opens the so door. Smart. Nice burst. Okay, little Eddie gets blown up again. Little Eddie not really doing much. Oh, Ooh, nice air grab right there. Tries to reset the situation. Far invite to hell, and there's a little Eddie with the Nobudu. This is where Eddie wants him right here, right in the air. Okay. Nice. I love that item usage right there, making sure it's there to either stop Zotto from moving forward or kill little Eddie. That's really smart. Well, oh, but just as we say that, here comes little Eddie right now. Nice Eddie, blocks. Bad position right now. He can definitely kill off this. Okay, dead man's hand. Withdrawal. Oh, this is tough. This should be it. Oh, wait, he bursted. Wait, the there's a drill. Steal it. Oh, oh, 6K. 6K, the overhead. That was really smart of all. I actually forgot. I was like, oh, what is he going to yeah, do that's now? That actually exists. That but he set the mind, knowing that he was going to get the burst and just planned on keeping him in that spot. Yeah, that was super smart. Gets a 6K. Pretty slow overhead, but yo, if you're not looking for it, you're sleeping. Oh, wow. That did so much damage. The mini pops there to pump it up. Nice confirmed. Does not get that last hit of hard slash. Oh, my God. Reels him in. Oh, nice. Good. I actually like that burst because how he did that is that he denied Elvin Shadow a lot of meter. Because the, the smack actually gets a lot. Oh, this is going to hurt. <laughs> and by hurt, I mean take him the first match, Elvin Shadow. Wow. What a great set so far. Elvin Shadow knowing, showing that he knows this matchup. All right, going to character select. Smart decision, you know, takes some time. You know, definitely a good decision to sit back, you know, think about what just happened, think about what went wrong in this yeah. match. You know, a more players should do that, and it's very smart to see Marlon Pye do that as well. So, yeah, I mean, you, you have to, these are the times you take those breaks at the character select screen that mean the most because this is when you get the chance to say, okay, what am I doing wrong? I need to look at this again. Where did I mess up for yeah. him? Absolutely. And like I said before, Zotto, even though he's he's a super oppressive character, like he legitimately yep. does not Very let you out. It does not mean he does not have holes. Um, an experienced player like Elvin Shadow definitely knows where the holes are. He knows exactly how to control the range with the normals. And like you saw how he was using his items. He was like, no, I'm going to throw this item out and then I'm going to run forward to make you have to commit to something. So even if you try to put little Eddie under it, he can kill him without hitting a button. It's really smart. Yep, it's good.
when I, because he, when I was playing him in winners, uh, Bulls winners, he beat me. He sent me to losers, and he, I honestly thought, oh, I got this match, I can win. But he just, how he controlled neutral was so smart. He yeah. just always had accountability for Little Eddie. He always knew where he was. It was so smart. I didn't know what to do. It was, it was really good. And it seems like that's carrying over in this match. Yeah, it is. It is. You know, I, I don't feel that bad for losing. It's great. All right. All right. All right, nice back dash. I, really, I, I like this style of play more for Marlon in this matchup. Yeah, more defensive. Oh, counter hit Nobidu. My favorite, my favorite counter hit in the entire game. He's slowly trying to get Elven Shadow in. Okay, gets that knockdown from the drill. Gets him with the overhead. Oh! Nice bait on the burst. Lots of damage right there. And Marlon Pie. Oh, okay. tech drill. Everyone loves tech drill. Nice air grab from Marlon Pye. It's good use of YRC to get the air grab. Oh, wow. Nice confirming. Uh -oh. That's going to be the round. Wow. Have to be really careful with those neutral jumps. And now Marlon using YRC to make sure he gets just a little extra time to recognize what's happening on the screen and jump up and try to punish whatever. And it looks like that time he took really helped him out. Good look. Yeah. Complete turnaround. But just as I said, oh, 6P. Oh, my God. So much damage. And he, he, luckily, he didn't get clipped by the bomb. That would have been a lot more damage. Gets the 2K, the chemical vial. Oh, I love the jump back from Elven Shout not to get air shot. That was so smart. But here comes Nobidu. Nobidu is out. Oh no, never mind. It's dead. Six oh, H. Wow, did block the six H. No burst for Marlin Pot. That's a blockable. That's cheap. Oh wait, <laughs> they both get hit. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. <laughs> knew he was gonna try to get out. Yo. Jump up. Anticipatory air throw. Oh, that was sick. That was that was great. And Elven Shout sitting on match point. Oh, wow. Nice six jump. 6H again. Why is 6H putting so much work right now? Okay. Shadow Gallery. Oh. Cross up. No group. Lots of damage. Puts Monify exactly where he wants to be. Nice unsummon. There's the drill again. Goes under the... Oh, oh this my. is going to hurt. Oh, so much damage. And you're getting dizzy. Gets damn Fang. Gets, that gives him a little time to get little Eddie back. Resummon. Right, really this is careful. really tough for Elvin Shadow right now. Oh, the options are like, so dirty, <laughs> That's exactly man. what I'm talking about. This, that's exactly what I mean, man. <laughs> I love that. I Zato, love doing that to people so much. Sato's so definitely never out of it. Oh, never definitely out of it. Nothing makes me feel smart as a player than Dan Fang into Nobi do. I'm like, yeah, I got him. <laughs> oh, Marlon taking off the headsets. Oh, he wants that thing on. He wants, he wants to feel that audience, that pressure. Exactly. He, I feel like this is it. This is it right here. He's like, I got to go all out. I like that. You know, both players are thinking right now. You know, Elven Shadow, he was sitting on match point and unfortunately just slipped away from him. You know, both these players are more than capable of winning. So let's see what's going to happen. Or maybe he just wants to listen to the music. Yeah, I mean, I I'm not him. against that. It's pretty good. It's a good character. Like, <laughs> it's good. I like it a lot, too. You know, this is a tough one right here. All right, taking his time. Here we go. Six is All right. Potential final match. Well, it's definitely the final match, regardless. <laughs> but both of these guys are on the verge of winning and going to lose this bracket at this point. Yeah, this is a big one for Silas. Here we go, guys. Game three. Oh, starts off with a 2H. Nice. Trying to go for air grab. Misses it, but gets a little Eddie out, anyways. Oh, nice jump up. He wanted that air throw, but nice confirm in the combo. Yeah, great that was really neat. Oh wow, meteors are coming too. Oh, that does so much. But I, I like Such a burst. great burst right there. Wow, definitely and minimized little there. Eddie right there. Yeah, great use of wire C summon. Okay, gets a knockdown from the drill. Oh, oh five K to dust. Hit. Oh, unfortunately drops it. He wanted his dust. I mean his burst. He wanted the burst. Yeah. Oh man. All right. The Shadow Gallery. Oh, that, oh wow. If he released S a little earlier, I think it would have made it safe with Nobidu, but not too sure. Oh, tries to go for the cross up. Nice block and awareness there by Wild oh, Pie. Nice. This is looking really down. bad for Elvin Shadow right now. Oh, and gets 6K. a 6K. Again. I like how Marlon Pie is using 6K. Just every once in a while, he only used it twice his entire yeah. set. Just right when you least expect it. Not using it too much. Those, those slower moves is what gets you in the end. Okay, tech forward. Oh, tries to go for that again. Elvin Shadow says, I'm not falling for it twice. Not today. Okay, nice. Oh. He dodges Scapple. He's like, nope. Don't want to deal with that. Nice JH. <laughs> and he gets and he still gets hit by the springboard. <laughs> oh, wow. Hits him with the fake. 
Yo. Mini Faust okay, this is on his way. Nice escape from Marlon Pike. Does take some damage getting out, oh, though. Wow, gets hit by the weight. That took off a nice job. Oh, no. Uh -oh, Immediately gets tagged by the drill. This is looking really tough. Gets right. a knockdown drill. Goes for unsummon. Nice. Gets a little bit of that Eddie Gage back in this, this combo. Is this is not going to kill, but set up after it. Nice oh, the first save. Oh. Nope. Big damage from Marlon Pike right now. Door. Wires. Nope, oh, 2K. 2K. This game is not over yet, folks. Not quite. Hammer. <laughs> Smack his auto Hammer. right in the face. Oh, and he kills little Eddie. Little Eddie he blows himself up. Oh, Trey. this could be it. And it is. Oh, yes. jump confirm. Wow, that was sick. That was clutch. That, that was, was mad clutch right there. That JD confirm was really good. All right, once again, Elvin Shadow is not out of this. He's, He's going to go down to losers. Wallapai moves on to winners. What a, hey, that was really clutch, though. That it was. was. That it was, was really, really good hard. set that for both really players. Hard. But Marlon Pye just showing that little extra oomph to win the All right, so right now, we got KV with the recent switch oh, no. to Johnny. The Texas team. Through goal. and through. He my even God. said it when I saw him in Texas. He was like, I am going to run my character Johnny no matter what. So what about Elfil? She's so good. She's still good. And he was like, nah, man. I'm going to run Johnny. And I'm going to learn Johnny. I don't know if you guys saw the gift, but he definitely won hit killed. Hotashi, who's sitting right here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Give it a hand for Hotashi. Hotashi getting killed one combo. Yeah, yeah baby. That's how, you, <laughs> hey, that's how you demonstrate a character. Look at that. Zoom in. I need to zoom that's in right love. now. That's love. Like, that's love. Oh, don't be on. shy. Yeah, don't be shy. Don't be shy. You're that guy that got. Anyways. <laughs> Poor Hotashi. Shout, shout out to Faulty Defense. Shout out to Hotashi. Yeah, that's love. Sweet. Don't be sad. That's love. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> and also, Faulty Defense coming from Texas Showdown. Doing an amazing yep. job at Texas Showdown. Yeah, he won. Repping really well. And both of these guys from Texas, so yeah, we got a really great match up. coming up. I hear they go back and forth quite a bit nowadays. So I'm yeah. curious to see who's going to win. I, I, I think Faulty has uh, the edge here. Because really? he's been playing this game longer. It's not the game longer, but this character longer. And he's committing to his character a lot longer. Exactly. But you have to remember, Johnny is a force to be reckoned with oh, in this game. Yeah. He's, still, he's, a, he's a new character to Xer, but he's an old character based in Guilty Gear. Yeah, that's true. You know, KV has definitely shown so much of what Johnny can do. So I'm curious. I'm curious to see what's going to happen next. All right. It's going to be a good one. With that Pat and the Cowboy head. I like All right. it. All right. And he got on a Dallas jersey. I just tripped off of it. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens. All right. Nice neutral. This is exactly what you want to happen. In most situations, Sin beats out everybody in neutral because of long range pokes, uh, peak driver. Peak driver is, I think, is the best special move in this game. Yeah. It's so good. It just does everything. Okay. Now, the thing is, Johnny's all about that one opening. That's whereas, true. Sin is going to gonna take a lot of damage no matter what happens. If Johnny gets that opening, he can definitely take off a lot of damage. Okay, nice, nice grab. This could definitely be the start of good things. Needs to be really careful. He's a winder. Nice step back for the S. Nice pressure. Johnny, definitely one of those very active characters. As a player, you're going to have to keep hitting buddies at all times to play him effectively. He has a lot of cancels. He doesn't have an actual dash, an actual run. He has a dash. Keeps his momentum up. Really good buttons. Absolutely. Right now, KB down to three coins. Oh, no. Oh, that still, that still kind of works. Oh, he has nice a back dash. Oh, wow, this is actually whiffed. Oh, nice tech. For people that don't know, in Guilty Gear Exit Revelator, you can definitely tech throws. It's pretty neat. Okay. Oh, oh bull, bull bash. bash. Doesn't quite get the confirm he wanted. Oh, double YRC to stay safe. Yo, this is what Sin wants. Nice block by KV. More displaying of that awesome defense. Whoa. And just like that, he gets opened up. Now, he could have fought list out. Yeah, that was um, interesting why he didn't do it. Maybe he forgot. Yeah, well, maybe he didn't think he was going to do it. And not too many Sim players actually finish out the round. Yeah, sometimes you forget about that move. Yeah. All right. Gets a 5K. Checks out. Nice. Oh, my God. Nice pressure. Nice pressure. Off, faultless. His guard bar is cranked so high right now. This is going to be tough. Any hit, it's going to hurt. Yep. Look at that. So Look much. at that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is fair. Oh, so oh. much damage. I thought he was going to continue the combo. Sin. Now, this is definitely not over. Ooh, what? Woke up with H, and it works. He goes into super. Nice escape oh, for KB. Wow. Oh, wow. That definitely could have been a lot of damage for Johnny right there. Oh, that could have been a lot of damage. Counter hit anti air coin, but unfortunately, it doesn't confirm. So much pressure. 
Nice oh, RC. He puts himself in the corner. Nice neutral jump there by Faulty Defense. Taking his time right now. Yep. Making sure the next move that he makes is going to take the kill shot. Gets the level 2 misfinder. Oh my god, look at that damage. Here's the setup. Oh, oh, that oh no! Awesome. Okay, doesn't matter. And just like that, the pickup by KB. You know, you're faulty looking at that. He's like, oh wait, he's saying something. I don't know what he's saying, but. He definitely just said he's cheating. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. You know, this is going back and forth exactly how two training partners should go. Okay. Gets a counter hit, gets a, gets a coin. Nice 2B to get out. And he confirms for some decent damage. Eat some food. Hungry boy's got to eat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, good burst. Nice pressure. Faulty defense. Showing some pretty good defense right now. I don't know. Playing really patient, knows that he all he needs is a really good conversion. He's gonna get a lot of damage, potentially the round. Oh, okay, this game is not over yet. Looking for, as I say, get some food. Oh, gets more food. There you go. Keep that, keep that calorie count up. Uh oh. Oh, it does wow. it quick? And he uses the meter. It's pretty tough. Oh, oh we get to six k. And now faulty defense definitely still has a burst available. Let's see what happens. Get the level two oh. point. That's going to be a combo. This is going to hurt. Goes for a shorter combo this time. Tries to hit it with the miss to make the next hit unblockable. And the beat driver beat the coin as well. It's so oh, oh wow. <laughs> they say they say Sin doesn't have mix up. <laughs> Yo, Sin doesn't have mix up, huh? All right. Well, you know. Let, let, tell me how it feels getting hit by that uh, Vulture C's overhead, and then we'll talk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I didn't know what side I was on. Yeah, it's called the mix up. <laughs> yeah. Sin has plenty. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, nice. Just like I said, right there again. <laughs> All right, right now, I like what faulty, faulty Defense is doing right now. He's making sure that he's, he's at the perfect range to capitalize on combos where Johnny is not. See, Johnny needs to be close in a certain range before he can confirm. Whereas Sid is one of those characters, he kind of moves himself in a position naturally yep. with the combos that he does. Absolutely. Okay, Hawkbreaker. Oh, oh, he runs out of food! Runs out of food. You got to make it hurt. There you go. Yeah, you got to make him pay for it. Right now, Faulty's in a really bad position. Not only does he have no food, oh, but he oh. also gets chucked. This is what happens, man. This is how I feel when I leave my lunch at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm too hungry. Yeah, has nice. to eat some food. Has, has to, to use the meter at this point. Bags. That was really smart, because he's going to need that meter. Nice if he runs out of meter, he can't do special moves or cancel. Oh, no. So much damage. It's not even over yet. You think it's done. Nice. Oh, wow. He has to block this. Nice blocks from uh, Kid Viper. He has very good reaction. Oh, the delayed JD. Air Dash JD. So not, tricky. No mix-ups, dude. Yeah, no mix-ups. This character can't, can't open you up. Oh, wow. Down to the wire. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh six good P. old 6P. 6P. <laughs> KB like, oh really, that's how you feel, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's how you feel. Hey, right now, Faulty is sitting on match point. Oh, 6P open. Oh, but KB has a 6P of his own. So much damage. And he's gonna get the knockdown in the corner. All right, let's see what, oh no, not quite. Doesn't quite get the first, the last hit. Oh, it's a winder. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Wow, this is still anyone's game, absolutely. Uh-oh. Should be able to confirm. Yes, he does. It's a huge chunk of change, and he gets some food as well. Oh, oh no. wow. That could have been it, but doesn't quite get the confirm. He doesn't quite get what he needed. Oh, the instant overhead. Oh, not close enough to get that combo to work. What's my name? Oh, Jay Pajama. Oh, he gets out. Puts himself in the corner. Nice. Oh. Gets oh the level two. God. This could be the round. Oh, he has 50 meter. He can do it. Yup. Nope. <laughs> you thought you were safe? This will always be unblockable. Your burst can't save you. That's so good. All right. Still match point for Faulty. Oh, nice block on the bull dash. Then goes low right to slide. Faulty having no burst for the rest of this match is definitely going to hurt, but so far it's working out. Nice 6K to avoid that. Get some food. No punt. Oh, nice. Nice air to air right there. Get some office back. Oh, empty jump. I like that empty jump low from the the wire seat. That was really sick. I'm right, gonna get knocked down. Next hit is gonna be oh. Oh wow. Oh. 
Big drop. Oh, and he tagged. Nice tech. Oh, oh, this is gonna hurt. Dash is under to get the corner. Oh, I like the combo. I want to say nice side switch, but he immediately drops the combo. That's a rough look. Oh my, gets that counter hit. Our, and our not prepared, did not confirm it to that. Oh level my two. god, we're not done here, folks. Does he have 50 meter? No, not quite. Oh. It's Yo, the treasure oh. hunt! Oh my god! Is Yo. this it? Yes! Yo, the Whoa. mini swag from KV. Even, even Faulty was clapping after Faulty that one. Faulty was like, yo, that was kind of cool. You're yeah, a cheater. That was sick. But that's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even Faulty's like, yeah, you know, you deserve that one. <laughs> All right. Game three, potential last game of the set right here. Definitely last game of the set. Needs to be really careful. Okay, JD with. Jumps out. Nice. This is going to be a good position right here. Starting point for Faulty defense. Oh, 6P. Nice early burst there. I like that. YRC to change up. You don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. okay. Right now, KB has the corner. 2H. 2H again. So much pressure. There's that activity I was talking about oh, from Johnny. Oh. I like how he's a very, very gutsy wake up throw from Balti. Oh, no. <laughs> Doesn't block. Yeah, I can do a mid screen. I can do a mid screen. Yeah. This is tough. This is looking more than tough for Faulty right now. And he has meter right now, so he's probably going to follow up with an unblockable right here. Oh, nice dead angle on the coin. That way to get out, that was really smart. Yeah, this game's not over yet. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I think he caught the tech, maybe? Yeah, looks like he caught the tech. He probably tried to hit a button on that recovery. Right now, Faulty. Right now, Kid Viper on match point right now. Complete turnaround from the first match. Ooh, that was scary, but it works out. Gets a knockdown, gets some food. Tries a beta grab. Oh, oh no. Oh, that is gonna hurt. Oh, he made. I love the spacing on the 5k. Oh, chucks him in the corner. All right, right now. Kid Viper with that pressure. This, this could be it. Might be this should be match. it. And it is. Just like that, Kid Viper takes it over uh. Fall to defense. Ki team kill, guys. They, they, they had to hug it out. Yeah, they did. That was good. Fantastic set from both players. Faulty bows, bows out. Still losers though. I think. Oh, no, no, that was losers. Yeah, that was losers. You know, Faulty bows out. So, our next match, although not exactly a team kill, both of these guys are from California. Oh, my man. I look, you know, you want to say, yeah, check out the Killer Instinct figures. You know, Ultimate Source Killer Instinct.com. You know, you get Dark Jago, Saberwolf. Normal Jago. Yo, I want that Asako so that bad. Asako? That Asako looks so sick. It is pretty cool, man. Personally, I like Dark Jago a lot. He looks. I think he Dark looks Jago, cool. huh? Yo, Dark Jago, man. That's okay, cool. all right. And shout outs to Paradise Arcade Shop and Hori. That Real Arcade Pro VLX Premium. Two of my favorite sticks right there. Yeah, they're really cool. And that's like the Cavs back home have those. Those things are hella good. Yeah. You know, shout outs to Gaming Generations, you know, professional event services. You know, they provided. All the setups here, you know, the for Evo, CEO, Genesis, you know, and of course Combo Breaker. Yeah. You know, Shouts and they've done so much for us. So thank you guys so much at Gaming Generations. Great sponsor. Thank you. Oh yeah, exclusive Combo Breaker sticks and pads available from Controller Chaos. They're right back here. You should go holler at them. I'm, I'm definitely gonna go talk to them because I saw uh, Ultra David came back with like this sick poking, really? like special edition oh, controller, so cool. and it has like the galaxy yeah. on it. I'm like, yo, man, you, got, you couldn't have got me one? Like, what? <laughs> Come on, man. You didn't, oh, you didn't get the hookup? No, oh, man, damn. Hook up. I'm gonna go shout those guys out. Yeah. And shout out the Broken Tears, you know, awesome sponsors. I love Googies. What a great guy. You know, you can get the QC FB shirt right now. Absolutely awesome, great stuff. I have, I buy a lot of this stuff myself. Obviously, you're wearing one of those shirts right yeah, now. Yeah, right now I'm wearing you this nerd. Assassin's T-shirt. Right now, I'm <laughs> That's actually that a sick shirt. That is I love this like. shirt. He tagged me when he made it. Like, how about this? But I told him, like, yo, you should make a new Assassin's shirt. He did it. So great. Oh, okay. All right. Anyways. Okay. Win your match collection. Oh, yeah. Uh. These guys are great. You know, they're doing online tournaments. You know, cash money is involved. Oh, and that's through Avid. That's actually yeah. really smart. It's been really cool. I want to see that come out and see what happens there. It, was, it looks really neat. And plus, who doesn't want to see Jabaili versus Hanzo Gonzo? Yeah, I, I would like to see that. I want to see. J I got money on Jabaili though. I don't so. know, man. Hanzo Gonzo says Jabaili is free. I heard him say it. I he mean, actually spit right after he said. It. He's like, man, Jabaili is free. And I was like, Damn, yo, what was that for? That's messed up. 
I wouldn't do that. That was an old school pop off. Hanzo was only 12, so I didn't even know he knew how to do that. <laughs> and this shirt is godlike. Oh, Street yes, Fighter retrospective, cool. man. And you can get the, you can you can pre order it. Opens June first. Look, it's got it got Bips and about to get kicked in the face. Yeah, dude. You don't Yoshihara, like Bipson, man. get this shirt. <laughs> man. Like this Bipson? dude is definitely one of my favorite artists like of all time. Looks so beautiful and I like it how the art changes between the back yeah, and the front. Yeah, it's really, really sick, cool. really sick. Really neat design. Launching at Evo 2016. Make sure you guys go, you know, grab one. Because I'm going to grab one early so I can wear it when nobody has it. And then when you guys start wearing it, I'm not going to wear it anymore. Oh, I hear you. You know, I just want to say, for people that don't know, Fu, you know, both these players I know very well. But Fu, you know, friend of 13 years, training partner, helped me out so much. You know, I'm so proud of him. But this is going to be a tough match, to say the least. You want to go make out with him? Is that what you want to do? Son, this, you're the second person to say that, guys. <laughs> you're the second person. It's, it's nothing wrong with that, man. It's 2016. Get with the times. <laughs> First match. Losers. Damn it. <laughs> All right, here we go, folks. Let's see what's going to happen. Historically, this has been pretty tough for Fu. Yeah. My Bears, you know, Chip. Bears has been playing amazing all weekend. Oh, yeah. He's been ridiculous. He helped us so much in the team tournament. We can both see that. Oh, nice block. block. He can't be pressing buttons there. And look oh, how much oh, life oh. he's already lost. The thing is, Chip is basically, you know, a pixie. Oh, yeah. But he's so fast. Bears is, not only that, Bears is super good. Like, yeah. I, I haven't seen a Chip that can play quite like he can. Like, not in America. Like, it's ridiculous how, how good he is with this character. Nice confirm. He can definitely kill off of this if he ends with the deep. Oh, Not wow. Quite. Didn't take it all the way Ooh, up. The spacing. Oh, just the 6P. The 6P. So let me just get through Gets this a little, little bit quick. invincibility. Just a little bit. Just enough. Bjorn. Son of bear. Right now is a fantastic start. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, tries to go for the reset. You know, he mashes out. Good stuff. Bear is showing that. Oh, whoa. Nice flash kick there. One of the only options for Leo to keep a character like Chip off of him. Nice blitz right there. Tries to go for the, tur the turnaround. Should have just did the regular blitz and followed up with a combo. Yeah, I feel like I, feel like I, I agree with that. I feel like he just let go, but, you know, that's fine. Still works out. This match is still pretty close. RCs, nice dead angle from Bears. Fu not confirming too well right now. Had a couple of opportunities to take the round. Game. Good IBs from Fu. About to take the match and takes the round. He does. This game's not over yet. Let's go. Let's go, Fu. Do it for Santa Barbara. Oh, nice. Oh, oh that is going to hurt. Oh, it's on chip as well, so look at his damage. Already half on half life. health. One counter hit, baby. Oh, tries to bait the DP. Yo, Shuriken's off the wall. I mean, I'm actually surprised that an anti air the stance P. Yeah. I guess he's at the right angle. I think it was right at the end of the hitbox, actually. Oh, I see. Oh, oh wow. That works? I like punish. that. I've been seeing him do that all weekend to mess up the timing for the counter. Nice grab again. No, so scary. Goes. Oh, I thought he was going to do it again. He was trying to. He just got jabbed <laughs> for his problem. And now he got jabbed. Oh, oh. wow. No confirms there from Fu. Oh, nice dash. Oh, it doesn't quite get enough. This is big. Right now. Oh, oh that's so rewind. hard to block. All right, what's the next mix up? Oh, he drops it. Oh, nice block it. on the dust. Oh, oh. just barely gets on JD. JD. You know, play, both players reeling after that one. Look how, how motionless Fu is. I like how. So soulless. I know, right? This is a, a, a heartless look, individual. Look, look at him. Look at that. It's just a soulless. Unbelievable. Why am I. Why am I friends with this man? <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Oh, oh wow. God. Another JD counter hit. Not the start you would want. I, you'd agree with Steve. Like, not exactly the start you'd want, but yeah. hey, not over yet. Has to be really careful. And that's another thing, man. Leo's jump is so slow that it's really easy for a character like Chip to just anti-air on reaction. So you got to be really careful. Right now, Bear's doing such a great job of keeping at the right distance where Fu can't do much with, his, with Leo's normals. Yo, all the buttons. Yo, sure it can. Oh, that was you so You thought cool. it was over? Oh, my God. Yo, Bear's has been playing so well this weekend. He it's was crazy. Like ridiculous. I definitely, I definitely think he has the potential to win this whole thing. Nice standing back turn mode. Gets to okay. confirm into the oh, air no. combo. Doesn't quite get the resound you would want, but he'll still get a good chunk of change. Yeah, he jumps straight up instead of jumping forward. That's what made that special move whip. Oh, wow. Nice air combo confirm. There's the burst. No confirm. Does nice get the counter hit. Gets the knockdown in the corner. What is Bears going to do? Oh, DP. Oh. That's not safe. 
You have to be careful. A lot of times you don't react to it because you don't know if it's going to go through you or not. Ah, okay. And he had the meter to actually Nice bait on the parry from Bears. Not good patience. Doesn't do anything. Nobody blocks this. <laughs> <laughs> no one's blocking that. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Gets the gold, gold burst. burst. Now Bears has so much meter to work with. Getting the RC to 6 hit. Okay. This could potentially... Oh, nice burst. He has one more oh, chance. Gets the falling it. H. And that's going to send Fu home. Give it a round of applause for Fu, man. He yeah. did really well. He did really well. He represented Santa Barbara well. I'm proud of him. I'm hella proud of him. Good stuff, dude. So our next match. And good stuff to Bears, too, man. Playing yeah, so well, really good stuff know. to Bears. I'm happy for that match. It was good to see. Happy to see my boy get top bait again. So that's nice. So next up, we do have Black Snake versus Ooh, Kid Viper. Uh, oh, that's going to be good. This is going to be good. Now, this is going to be a nice region match right here. We got yeah, the Midwest. Versus far, far away. Well, I guess south, right? We'll consider it south. Yeah, 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 yeah south, yeah. You know, Johnny versus Venom. Yo, man, for real? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, this is going to be a good match. Johnny versus Venom. What do you think about this matchup, Steve? Like, I don't see it all that often. I mean, especially there's not well, that many Johnny players. Well, the thing yet. is about it, I don't think that it's really that bad for Venom. I mean, he's going to have a projectile on the screen so often. Oh, what? man. He's going to have a projectile on the screen so often that it's going to be a lot harder for Johnny to get his offensive pressure because he's going to have to change up his combos with, you know, him being able to teleport. He's going to have to read a lot harder to keep track of him. That, that's what I mean. I agree with that. It's going to be tough. But I think both these players, I, I want to say KB has the edge here. Okay. I want to say KB, especially with Johnny being such a strong character. He just needs that one hit. Not multiple hits. He needs that one hit to get the thing right, started. Right, right. But you know what? Anything can happen. I've been surprised multiple times already. So hey, what do I know here? All right. And I, like I said, thank you guys for watching for Combo Breaker. You guys are all awesome. Always love the support. You guys are great. All right. We're gonna let the intros play out. I like that true anime. All right. All right, watching these intros, I'm about it. Yeah, I'm about that life. It's, I am. To me, I'm so it, about I, it. To me, it, it, it makes it more hype. And then like, you yeah, got this hype it, music go. track going on right behind. Yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Assassin's Creed is so good. Think is Assassin's Creed? Hella good. All right. Five K to start the round. Five K is such a good normal. Okay. All right, nice neutral five K, and that's what I mean. See, like. Uh, Venom has a lot of far-reaching normals that Johnny, even though he's really good, has to respect. And having that projectile on the screen means that Johnny can't hit buttons. And just like that, look how much pressure he's able to put on and the likely that he has so early in the round. Oh, oh wow. wow. Black Snake completely taking control of this round. Great start. Told you, man. It's really, it's really hard. Venom, Venom is mobile enough to where Johnny has to respect that ah. he might have a projectile on the screen. Okay. And his normals are really good, too. Right now, he just completely just shutting him down from the normal front, just like you said. Just poking him out of the great mid-range. Oh, no. Tries to go for an air grab. I think he doesn't quite get it. Q5 gets smacked. Oh, but this is exactly where Black like, This is where Venom does not want to be in the corner. Doesn't have a lot of tools to get out, if any. <laughs> Just gotta fight your way out eventually. Okay. YRC. Nice air 5k. Oh, oh. no. Ooh, and he gets level 3. This is gonna it's hurt. Tough. Oh, there we go. Takes that second round pretty convincingly. I agree but you that. see how hard it is for Johnny just to get started. Yeah. Just because of those projectiles. It's that mid range. Yeah. It's that mid range that seems like Johnny is struggling. Too. Okay. Oh, nice confirm. Nice Street Fighter like cross up right there. Oh, oh catch the blitz. The blitz. He went for the low blitz too, which is a Treasure, definitely interesting huh? situation. And definitely different uh, uh different option. Okay. Oh wow. Nice air throw. Puts him back in the corner. Fire sees a winder. Oh wow. He gets a dust, doesn't follow up. Uh oh. Black Snake needs to make something happen. That could have been it. That should have been it. 
<laughs> nice air throw. Nice awareness there. YRC then goes right for air throw. Getting fanned by his Texas native faulty defense. Oh, faulty runs back. He's like, all right, I did my job. Faulty did his job. All right. I'm going to chill out. That's what he says. Chill out, son. And like I said, I, I like the, the adjustments here by KB. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice early burst right there. And there's those projectiles act activity I was talking about. Even though Kid Viper did take the first match, it was a pretty competitive first match. You know, Black Snake has, is more than capable of taking this whole thing. We're going to see what happens. Definitely a good start. Johnny has a nice big hitbox. Oh, tries to go for a dust. Doesn't work. Not sure if that was on purpose or not. 6P. Look how much damage it did. Yep. Look at that. This is what I mean. It's really hard. Oh, drops that combo. Big drop, but that's okay. Still in control and gets a grab. Gets a throw. See, and that's what I mean, man. If he has a normal or a ball out there, it's a lot harder for Johnny to get his work started. Exactly. Okay. Nice 6 speed. Gets a knockdown. What's the mix-up? Box and jump low. Good stuff from KB. Oh, that wow. was so cool. Telegraph. Dude, tele he teleports the ball and chucked them. That was so neat. Great Yo, awareness. Oh, look, uh, look, at the, look at the swag, though. Look at this. So cool. Oh, he doesn't want to deal with it. Uh-oh. Oh, and no. Okay, that's fine. Tech Works. buttons. Nice dead angle. Has a ball out there. Needs to be really Black careful. Black Snake has to be so careful right now. If he gets him. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Wow, level three. Yeah, you fine. can't. You cannot do you cannot do Stinger when he has level three, not from that distance. But now look, you lost. Now it's done. Oh no. Oh wow. Oh no. So much damage. Well, he has a burst to work with on the next round. Level Black three, Miss Fighter comes out so fast. Yeah. It can tag so many things. That's exactly what happens. Oh wow, it's the five Not the best burst in, in the a world. Bad burst there by, by Black Snake. Definitely not the best one in the world, that's for sure. Okay, gets to level two. This is gonna be tough looks right now. Almost with the meter, but not quite. Oh, oh wow. wow. This, if you finish it, this should be possibly enough. Oh, oh man, oh. so much damage. Jesus. And Kid Viper eliminates Black Snake. Moving on. Kid Viper fighting for losers. He's you know not what? trying to go out. Shout out to both players. Shout out to Black Snake. Yeah. He did so well. You know, representing Chicago, getting top eight. Fortunately, it didn't work out for him, but he did well. You know, of course, shout out to Kid Viper, man. He's doing fantastic right now. Moves on. You know, and that set was, you know, when Black Snake had control of neutral, was doing so well, but right when Johnny got in, it was looking tough. It was looking more than tough. But All what right. do we got next? We have Bjorn, son of Bear. Oh my god. Versus, versus Elven, Elven Shadow. Shadow. Elven Shadow? The Elven Shadow? The Elven Shadow. Who's expected to have a child, by the way? Yeah, he's doing pretty well, actually. He's really good at All right, can't. All right, we're still good. Okay, okay, all right. Let's 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 not let that happen again. My head almost exploded. Just yeah. FYI. Yeah. <laughs> that did not feel good. I don't all know right. What happened there, but that's so fine. they're getting set for the next patch right now. Okay. I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna blame Hanzo. Yeah. I, I honestly, we should. <laughs> you know, I want to say is that we should we should just automatically blame Hanzo. What do you think? I, I feel like I that's would. the trump card. That guy right over there in the hat is definitely yeah, like, his fault. He's not even in the station. He, I'm blaming he, look him. Look at him. Look at him. He's right there. You know oh, what he did. Oh, my God. Hanzo, don't do this. <laughs> he just gave me a gesture that's not appropriate. It's not very nice. <laughs> I don't like that. That was not very nice. I wouldn't uh, do that. So these guys are setting up right now. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. Elven Shadow versus Bears. At the team tournament, Elven did – yeah, Bears did take out Elven Shadow with his know. chip. But, you know, that's first to one. This totally different uh, tournament setting. So we're going to see what happens. I think – I want to say Bears has an edge here. I'm not really? sure if he has experience against a chip of, like, Bears, man. Well, the thing is you have to what remember, chip, chip can move around a lot. So, like, if you're trying to throw an item at him, he can just teleport. Yeah. And, and that's one thing that I feel like both players need to be aware of. I'm pretty sure Bears is like, oh, if you throw an item – I'm going to teleport right away. And Elvin has to be aware. It's like, well, he might be trying to look for that option. So I feel like it's it's harder to get started. But the thing is, I feel like Chip has that advantage in a lot of matchups. Because if he get hit, he explodes. That's so, true. That one hit is all you need against Chip. It's that's like, true. Oh, look, he's almost dead. That's neat. But uh, anyways, 
you know, overall, like, the set so far have been really good. You know, KV, pretty much, you know, I want to blame Hanzo, but KV, I think KV did murder the stream with those combos. <laughs> like, that was ridiculous. Just might. I mean, it is something to look at because he takes off a lot of damage. Johnny himself, being newer, all we have seen is nothing but ridiculous combos. It's him. been pretty good. It's um, been pretty good. Has really good normals to keep pressure up. And like I said, he's really an active, he's an active character because you have to keep hitting buttons. There's no chance where it's like, oh, you get downtime to react. It's completely, it's fluid the entire time. He's making you block. He's cranking that guard bar. And all he needs is a flick of a coin. That's it. And he's level two or level three and a lot more damage. And what makes it so scary is like, oh, I don't want to press the button. He has Miss Finder. He's, you know, he's plus. And then he grabs you. Yeah. And then when he chucks you, he can still kill you. Yeah, he has, like, oh, no. He has normals that move him across the screen. He has a really good evasive normal, 6P, 6K. Yep. And on top of that, his air normals are really good. He has like a natural mix-up because he can do a... What is it, Insinga that goes down? Or he can RC and just try to hit you with Oh, Insinga. Air. Yeah, yeah so it's like, that. it's really, really hard. It's, it's something you have to look at at all times. Because if not, you get hit once and then you're done. Yeah. So much damage. We've seen how, how many times it actually has brought him back from the brink. Where KV was definitely like on the bad end. He's like, well, I'm getting blocked on and I can't really stop. I can't stop this guy's offensive pressure. What do I do? Oh, I, gotta, I hit him with a coin. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I Dead. got that one coin. Oh, I hit you with 6 HC. Yeah. <laughs> it's over. But, you know, look at this bracket so far. We have, uh, ooh, Lost Soul versus Marlin Pie. That's right. a good one. You know, yeah. the, the New York team kill, two fantastic players. Black Snake. No, Black Snake, I'm sorry. Kid Viper has to fight the winner of Elven Shadow and Son of Bears. Roar and Son of Bears. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, that would be interesting. No matter who plays who, that's going to be a very yeah. interesting match. I honestly match. have no idea who's going to win this one. There's too many killers. That's like, the it's point. Too much. That's the entire point. That, that just means you got a good bracket you're looking at. It's that's true. all that means. They have so many killers in this top eight, so it was really a crapshoot who's going to win. Really. I mean, Marlon probably coming fresh off his sponsorship. I feel like he has a lot to prove. Like, that's a lot of pressure, you know? It is. But I feel like, he, I mean, he's been doing this a long time. I mean, yes. he may look young, but he's actually pretty old, you know? <laughs> I'm the bouncing of you. <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah, I mean. <laughs> that wasn't me. That wasn't me. I'd say that. <laughs> but no, he, he's a, I feel like he's going to do fine. Um, and then, of course, you do still have Lost Soul. Lost Soul is, is definitely, he's he's a premier Guilty Gear player at this yeah. point. Like, he's one of those people that was raised in, in the, the barrels of the online Guilty Gear community. Yeah, he has... Thousands upon thousands of online games I hear. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, the grind this man pulls out is it, awesome. Like, that's, and it that's doesn't matter. I've legitimately played him online in matches in California. Go and it, what, it wasn't even that bad. It was like, it was like three. It was like three. Three? Yeah, really? That's, it wasn't that's that good. bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, for me, it was kind of like underwater, but he was still going at like full pace. He's like, yeah, that's cool. And he was going like the same so speed and doing the same combos. He was like, I'm used to this. <laughs> you merely adopted the lag. I was born in it. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in the lag. I was mine. born in the lag. This is my life. You have to yeah. fight in my world now. Anyways. anyways. This will be a good one. <laughs> so, so like I said. You know, Bears rep representing NorCal well. Shout out to the NorCal scene. You see Elven Shadow already going to the daddy chin stroke for thinking. Okay. Oh, wow. Gamma Gets play. the pick up with the Gamma. Those are meteors. He's going to hold back right now because you didn't want to get hit. Oh, no. I was wrong. <laughs> oh, wakes up. That's Yo, I like that decision. It works out. Okay, Alpha Blade wire sees. Gamble Blade again whiffs. Look at the neutral right here being played. Nice 60 oh. blows up drill. Okay, what's the mix up? Uh, oh, the rewind. Okay. All right, let's see what the mix up is this time. Okay, nice. Chicken box. Oh, six eight. Eight. Lots of damage. Elvin Shadow's like, I got mixed up too. It's called 6 H. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, Drill's getting blown up by 6P right now. And it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my wow. God. That's really smart. Burn that meter to make sure you, you finish out that yeah. first round. Like, doesn't want to drop it. Nothing fancy. Just want to win. I like it. Nice for us. There's Meteors again. He is on the lucky side of this. Okay, nice. I like. Oh, oh wow. wow. Good mash out. Great challenge. We've been seeing that a lot this weekend. Okay, that's definitely a good burst from Elvin Shadow. Burst exactly where he needed to, where was the up kick. Nice burst. Nice where he doesn't have to. Uh-oh. I guess as I bomb. say that. Nice jump up to make sure. Oh, Eric does. Oh, he, oh he, another challenge. He does not. I lo I'm loving this right there right now. He does not care. He's like, you have to make me respect you. Shades of GC Yoshi. This dude, GC Yoshi, massive jab exactly like this. I oh, swear yeah. to God. Oh, my Shout God. GC Yoshi. Oh. oh, and he gets dizzy. He's going to 6H? Yep. 
Really smart. That was really smart play there by Elvis Shadow. And just taking the combo instead. All right. We're, we're tied one apiece. He doesn't get out of the stagger quite in time. What's the mix up? Nice blocks. Just as I say that, gets opened up again. Huh. I think he messed up a little bit there. 2K. Catches the back dash. Oh, but JD so good. Nice. Oh, where is he? Yo, Alvin didn't care. He's like, I don't care where you are. I'm just going to drill right now. Oh, nice, nice RC. Good stuff. Tries to do it again. Doesn't Elvin Shadow work. not staying put. He does not want to deal with it. Wow, gets 2H because going my way actually cancels solo to the oh. ground. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jump H. Chocolate bar. Oh, oh, oh six P's. Oh, he chucks him. Oh. oh, tries to hop back. In that instance, you need to hop back faultless. That was a really good match. You need to hop back faultless. Was great. Yeah, that, that was last really sequence good. was so good. Like, I can't. You know, even though I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little biased because we're from California. I may or may not want Bears to win, but that was hella good for Melvin Shadow. I can't say anything. Oh, oh okay. Wow. 2K. Boop, boop, boop. Man, I love this song. It's, it's just, uh, it's so hype. But anyways, Elvin Shadow looking so strong this round, just catching Bears with everything. Wow. Oh my god. And look how fast that match ended. Like I said, if you, can if you can stop the mobility and the neutral of Chip, it's a lot easier oh. for you. Bates the burst right out of the gate and loses almost half life. Needs to be careful, Mini Faust. Okay, nice grab. I like it. Okay. What's the mix up? Oh! oh get the oh. Get the combo confirm off of this one. Oh my god! That was disgusting. Oh no! Oh. Wait! Oh, gets the blitz right back. Oh my god, I mean, that was so sick. What's the mix up? Oh wow. Oh, but 2K anti-air. Just like that momentum is gone from Bears. Tries to 6P a little too late. Nice block on the 6H. Oh, didn't block that 2K though. Oh, oh hits the standing wait. H with the counter hit. No confirmed though. Oh, Air does, done. And just like that, Elvin Shadow takes it, knocks Bears out. And I'm going to be switching out right here. I'm going to bring in oh, wow. the god, O.S. Ryan Hunter. Oh, Sir, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for commenting, no my problem. friend. No problem. And Elvin Shadow, you know, giving you the devil's horns. You know, I think we need, I need, we need, a, J, we need a GC Yoshi right now. I need, I need a GC Yoshi right now. Jason, I need you. I need you right now. Hello, hello. Hey, how you doing, Ryan Hunter? Nice how to see you, How you doing, man. Julian? Thanks for commenting with me. I appreciate it. Man, the match has been fantastic so Absolutely, far. Absolutely, man. How you been, man? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. That's what I like to see. You know, I just want to say, control of chaos, you can save. 10% with the code COMBO at controllerchaos.com. They have a lot of cool pad art. Look at that. Look at, look at these Look at these designs. Like, I'm a pad player. I'm not going to lie to you. I want this stuff. I want this stuff. I'm going to get one of those PS4 controllers? Yeah. Because, like, look, I'm a pad player, you know, you know, as, as even though I'm the disdain of the community. You know, I'm a pad player, and I, I, I want that. Look at that, how cool that is. Like, come on. Can you blame me, Ryan? Broken Tier. Uh, mentioned them multiple times throughout the weekend. You guys are probably familiar. Yep. You, you mentioned before you're wearing one of their shirts right oh, now, yeah, the I'm Assassin shirt. Assassin shirt. I love it. You know, and look at this get good shirt. Look at this, this is great. You know, this is, a, this is a shout out to all the Bastion haters out there that not good enough to counter pick. I'm like, come on, come on now. Bastion ain't even good. And of course, Avid Gaming. They're yep. gonna be running uh, online tournaments. Check them out. Avid, Avid.com. Yeah. Don't you want to see Jabali versus Hanzo? Of course, everyone everything. wants to see that. Yeah. Why? Why would I not want to see that? Exactly. It's gonna be hella good. All right, okay, you can win a Vertigear SL4000 White Edition in green or red if you fo follow at Vertigear and at GamingGen on Twitter with the hashtag WinAVertigear. Winners announced on June 13th, so get on that. And here are all the dates for the uh, Tekken 7 Tour. Uh, they're here this weekend. A lot of people have been playing. It's been, it's been pretty cool. Tekken.com, hashtag Tekken Tour. Yep, that's going to be a good one. Look at all those great events. And she's check out Paradise Arcade Shop, offering products you need today for all your stick needs. This is more your forte. I'm not a stick player, so I don't even know what half those things are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah PCB, PCBs, buttons, oh, uh, that's any, any, any miscellaneous parts you might need for your stick. Oh, absolutely. That's one, that's wonderful. All right, and uh, Dynamic Custom Beadworks, the number one in Perla sprites, officially licensed by Capcom. Check them out, dynamicbeadworks.com. And you can use the promo code. Midwest is free. Yeah, Midwest is free for 25% off your next order. They make me say that every time I commentate, man. It's like the it's worst. not something you want to say, right? Yeah, it's exactly. just <laughs> I'm getting death stares right now. It's the best. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's yeah, exactly. It's not something you want to do, but you know, that's okay. 
That's all right. I'll take the L. That's fine. All right. Well, we're getting down here towards the end of the bracket. These all matches right. are going to be intense. We got KV versus Elven Shadow right now. Johnny versus Faust. KV opens up with Far Slash. Gets the first hit. Elven trying to create some space. All right. Mini Faust pretty good here because Johnny wants to stay on the ground primarily. So. Okay. Yeah, well, you... Wait. What? That was interesting. The scalpel throw. Yeah. Okay. Donut on the screen. Oh, oh. gets the scalpel pull that time. Great start from Elvin Shadow so far. Two donuts in a row. Tough break for Elvin. He does not want those. That's a better item. Definitely this match with Elvin interesting. Both have great normals. Both can control the neutral very well. But here we go. Here comes Elvin. Has a mini Faust to help him out. Oh, and another unblockable. Oh, nice. Jumps out of the potential unblockable there. The proximity unblockable grab is so good. Nice block on the 6H. Oh, Pogo. Kid Viper just not had an opportunity to get started, and yet another Mini Faust. And you can see oh, El El Elvin Shadow oh, knows that Kid Viper is going to try to get over the Mini Faust, so he just starts controlling the air once the Mini Faust gets close. It's been really tough. Finally, a knockdown for KV, but he's got so little life left, he makes something happen. Oh, both players are knocked down. Wait. Wow, and that definitely, oh. favored, that definitely favored Elvin Shadow. Kid Viper finally got a hit, and the weight pretty much stopped the momentum, knocked them both down. And the last hit of 2K just barely clipped them, but it was just enough. Okay. Nice delay there with the air mist finder. Okay, back blows up both people. All right, that's interesting. Oh, no. Here we go. This is the momentum Kid Viper was looking for in the first round. Black beat, but who cares? Oh, six beat catches. Reset. Oh! Just oh! <laughs> like grabbed his burst. That is rough. It's so... It's now, it belongs to Jason. Nice. Oh, and Jumps he, up. And nice. he blows him up with his own bag and then immediately chucks him. Damn, yeah. what a round for Jason. What a round for KV. So Elvin Shadow in a tough spot now. Oh, Ooh, oh, oh, oh. And a nice IED combo that off the six counter hit was six so sick. All right, lock him down. Okay, nice. Six. Catch, yeah, catch them trying to jump out. Oh, he R sees it, makes another jump and chucks them anyways. Yeah, nice presence of mind. I think Kid Viper recognized that that wasn't going to hit, so he was ready to RC. Okay, six hit, catches the jump. A little bit of damage. Oh, nice fire slash. Blowing up tech drill coin. Uh, Elvin not dead yet. Oh, a slight execution error, and that's going to cost him. KV taking that match rather convincingly. After the first match, was a little shaky, and then immediately just turns it around. Yeah, the first round was just all Elvin, really. Yeah. Viper just could not get started. But and second round was just disgusting. All right, wow, what a confirm. Oh, catches the buttons. The knockdown lets him get the OTG coin. Got level two now. Spends it though. Yeah, he spends it, doesn't care. Oh, wow. okay. Oh, wait, that was sick. 6P into the explosion. Right now, not looking too good for Elvin right now. And he has 50 meter. Doesn't quite get it. Elvin not teching into the 6P that time. This is very scary right now. And he's got, I think, level 2 or is it 3? I oh, believe no. level 2. Oh, oh, it was 3. It was 3, yeah. This is block 6H. This game's not over yet. Ooh, jumps out of the command grab. Oh, the bag saves him from the air grab. <laughs> Can't advance because of the poison. Tough break. Oh, 6P. Good stuff. Goes to the pole goal. Oh, scalpel throw. Good right. burst with Kid Viper. I like it. Just go. Oh, he wants some momentum aside. He wants this round. Oh, my nice. God. Is this... Oh, no. Wait. This game is not over yet. Oh, I lied. Wow. Well, I, I think Elvin there tried to cancel the 2H into an item throw, but the helium was still off screen. He couldn't throw ah, another item. Oh, I see. Hey, sometimes RNG doesn't favor you. Viper accidentally putting himself in the corner. Black Hole gonna mess his combo up. Yeah, oh, gets the reset though. Okay, tries to go for an air grab, doesn't quite get it. Back to mid screen. Nice pressure from Elven Shadow. Oh no, but gets six, uh, gets 5k immediately. Has burst. How is he gonna oh. use it here? Okay, El right now Kid Viper doing a smart job of keeping the pressure up. And again, same situation as before. All right, nice RC. Okay, good. Oh, the 5P anti-air. No FB from Elven Shadow. Elven Shadow really holding on to his burst here. Right now, Elven Shadow. Okay, nice unblockable proximity grab. Oh, oh super. It, oh, wait. Yeah, low profiles it. That's right. And this actually just got really bad for Kid Viper because... Nice challenge, burst. though. I like the challenge from Kid Viper. Oh my god, this is, this is intense. Kid, Kid, Kid Viper really needs to win this round. This is too intense. Oh, Ooh, the, hammer. the hammer! 
Wow. Oh, JH with fantastic normal Viper House, by the way. Yeah, so that burst that Kid Viper did in the second round to avoid the uh, the launcher from the Scalpel Pole, now he's got no burst in this round. He's not going to get it back until very late. Machado just trying to keep Kid nice Viper out. Grab. That was so good. All right, gets to level two, spends it. Oh, okay. okay. I, I thought I was about to say, if he had a coin off that, that would have been like the most sickest thing I've ever seen. Nice mix up. Oh, a little bit too much of a delay there. Uh oh. Oh, and he gets the air chuck. This is bad. This is you can't do much out of that situation. That's oh, this this could be it. Yeah, yep. I knew the burst was coming. That was like the first good burst point. Kid it's hard to burst Piper. Johnny's combo sometimes because with the coin and the uh, wall bounce, you're too high a lot of the times to burst. Kid Viper sends Elvin Shadow home. Great match from both players, but you know. Kid Viper was looking so strong there. Yeah, Absolutely again, we, we talked about a little bit of a shaky first round there. Had a, had a hard time kind of maneuvering the Faust normals, yeah. the items, but really pulled it together and took it pretty cleanly after that. He did. and uh, he, he, Yeah, like you said, he took it pretty convincingly. After that first match, I felt like he he understood what he did wrong. He said, okay, this is what I need to do. And after that, it was all Jason, all KV. It was ridiculous. So good. But anyways, we're going to have our next match. Tell me about this. Lost Soul versus Marlon Pyro. Oh, I'm sorry. Panda Globals. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Panda Global's Marlon Pie versus Lost Soul. What do you got? Yeah, so this is going to be winner's finals. And uh, I think these two, I think you know, we're down to basically top three now, but I think these two are probably two of the favorites to win the tournament. Yeah, so no surprise to see them in, in winner's finals here. Absolutely, two fantastic East Coast players. No stranger to each other. These guys play all the time, both New York players. Yep. So they're both going to be familiar with each other's you know, game plan and style. They're both going to be familiar with some of the tricks and mix-ups, so it's going to be a pretty high-level match, I think. It's going to be a good one. I, I don't remember last time they played each other. I haven't seen anything recently, but I think they go back and forth. I, think. I, I would say for the most part they go back and forth, but I think as far as tournament wins go, I think Lost Soul has taken more, you know, of okay. the New York tournaments. Oh, I need a Biscord to help me out on this one. But, but it's definitely... Stats, Biscord. Yeah, definitely, definitely could go either way, though. And I know Marlon Pie has experimented with a lot of different characters against Lost Soul, you know, Slayer, Soul. Um, but I think we're just going to see Zato here. Yeah, it's, uh, definitely. I definitely I definitely agree with that. Zato's been the character from this entire tournament. I don't think he's the characters. I really don't. All right. You know, Marlon Pye is very familiar with this matchup at this point. At least I would hope so. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Goes to Alpha, of course. Lost Souls. I, I, I think uh, Marlon Pye is having some stick issues here. Oh, really? Okay, interesting. But yeah, again, this is going to be winner's finals. Should be a great match. We're getting down to the end here. Yeah, it's going to be a really good match. You know, like I said. Oh. Huh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, this is he's testing his stick here. All right. Yeah, once he put that finger up, he's like, yo, do you Yeah, I, I definitely, definitely expect him to play Zato. Yeah, can you pick melee? That would have been. <laughs> right. I've never yeah. seen that before. Yeah, he does play a lot of characters. Marlon Pye, obviously, very old school, guilty player, We've been playing for a long time, so he's very proficient with a lot of characters. But uh, I don't think Millie is one of them. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I bet he does have a Millie, but hey, I mean, compared to Zato, I don't know. Look at that FD. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. Yo, this FD stops. All right. Yeah, not not sure what the uh, issue is, but. Looks like he's good to go now. Yeah, maybe something felt weird. Maybe something felt off. Who knows? And just for you guys to know, this is winner's final, so it will be three out of five. Oh, man, these extended training modes. I like this. Yeah. I think they call this hand warmer in Smash, I, right? I, I, wanted to, I wanted to avoid it, but I was like, oh, <laughs> I wanted to avoid it, but... Yeah, this is a hand warmer, you know? Got <laughs> is, is that where is that where we've we've is that where we've gone now? Is yes, that where we're at? This is our thing now. Yeah, hand warmers. We in, took it in Guilty Gear. All right, here we, we go. Good lingo too while we're at it. We need more words. All right, tomorrow Pi looks ready. One last button check here on the character select screen. Got to make sure, of course, we've seen this all weekend. Making sure the stage is good. Make sure the music of course, is good. You know, gotta set the tone. That's important. All right. You know, I'm interested to see what's gonna happen next. Zato versus Elfeld. Definitely a stressful matchup, that's for sure, for both players. Yeah, both of these characters really shine in the corner, so... At the beginning, they're both going to be kind of up jockeying for position, trying to push yep. the other one back into the corner. 
Obviously, Zato's going to be using Eddie to do that in the neutral. Uh, Elfelt's going to be using, you know, sniper rifle, grenade, far slash, two slash. It's going to be interesting what he does to avoid the grenade. Like, usually you can go underground, but we're going to see what he does here. You know, I'm, I'm sure Lossel knows that he's going to go for that option as well. Yeah, Let's break the law, very strong option to avoid projectiles. You don't want to have to block when you have Eddie out because that automatically unsummons Eddie, so. Okay, nice start from Lossel. All right, so immediate corner pressure here. Oh, no. Yeah, Marlon Pie with a really questionable burst there. Lossel was not even close to him. Also misses the tech. Wow, gets reset. Jesus. I, this match might be... No, not quite. Yeah, Marlon Pie needs to get out of well. here. <laughs> That's the way to start a set wow, right that was there. A, a very convincing start there from, Mar from uh, <laughs> Lossel. Mar Whoa. Okay. Marlon Pie is really going to have to put in work this round because he does not have burst. Nice. Back dash the rifle shot. All right, here we go. Mawaru. Okay, nice block. All right, catches him low. Dust. No Eddie for the unblockable, but going to get a knockdown here. He should be able to have a little Eddie in the end of this. Nice YRC, she has to go. Oh, another nice counter YRC. YRC, yeah. Oh, great. Oh, that was such a great punish. With the air grab. All right. All right, the gold burst did not hit Eddie, though, so he still is available. And there it is, the resummon. Right, corner pressure. Yeah, it goes low again. I like that. Hit him with the low the first time. I would run it back. Oh, that could have been it. He added the meter to end that. Nice. All right, so Marlopai bringing it right back. Yeah, just like complete, complete, just one sided rounds from both of these players. All right. All right, nice air throw. Locks him down with the drill. Immediate kicks away the puddle. Oh, counter hit Nobidu. My favorite counter hit in the entire game. Okay, yeah, and, and Zato does not have that much trouble dealing with the rifle shot because of the flight. Gives him a little bit of uh, options to get higher than the max height. Yeah, fight. I'm surprised he didn't let that go and get the knockdown um, from Lasso with the blitz. He didn't have meter the blitz back, but hey, you know what? He's still in the corner. Nice challenge there with the 2P. Trying to advance forward with Eddie. Ooh, catch him with the Shadow Gallery. Uses the last bit of Eddie meter for that Mawaru just to get the pressure. Yep, absolutely. Pays off, he gets the knockdown. Now he's locking him down, trying to waste time until Eddie's available again, but he gets hit. Uh-oh. This is going to be the start right here. He might not even have to be able to get little Eddie out, especially with a hit like that. Oh, got to watch how he bursts here. Very dangerous. Oh, yeah. no. It's so tough. Talked about this you know, earlier in the tournament in pools and stuff, it's so hard to burst the shotgun combo because really you can only burst the first hit. Yep. Once once you don't burst the first hit, she's back far enough away that your burst is just automatically going to whiff. So it's really tough. Yeah, it's tough. So Lossal takes game one. Okay, goes for the unblockable shot. It works. Okay, right, nice 6P. Catches the tech buttons. Air dash YRC gives him some time to get over the potential Nibiru from Eddie. Okay, nice pressure. What's he going to do? Yep. Dead man's hand jumps I'm out. I'm surprised he didn't recall because he could have recalled him in YRC to make it safe, but doesn't do it. So Eddie is dead. All right, nice. Crouching confirm. Catches him low. Oh, this is going to be tough right here. Ooh, luckily, the grenade hit just before the bridle, so he didn't get popped up. So Marlopai still alive here. Mid screen shotgun pressure transitions to rifle. Nice, Fallaces. You yeah, have to Fallas that in the air. Definitely. I keep forgetting that. All right, Eddie does get tagged there, so not available right now. Flying over the rifle again. Nice air grab. Great air grab. Gets the offense started. What's he going to do? Oh, doesn't block the 6 feet. This is going to hurt. And <laughs> when it actually kills. So much damage from Elfeld. Good stuff. All right, now we're going to the second round. Right now, this is looking pretty nice for Lossel. All right, kicks in Abiru. Gets slight punish, but definitely works out in Lossel's favor there by killing Eddie. Yeah, something in, something in a block scene like that is very risky for Zato. It's very easy to kill little Eddie when he does that. And really nice by Marlon Pai there, predicting the air dash after the end of the string there and caught he him with the beard. Grab, tries to punish Bridal Express, but doesn't quite work, and now he's in the corner. Oh no, this is exactly where Zato. Zato does not have the tools to get out. He just has to hold all the mix up, hold all this damage. Nice combo using the grenade. Oh, and he gets a 6 feet into the super. Is Marlon Pai going to have an opportunity to burst here? Got to do it eventually. I mean, oh no, oh, he's still alive. Dead angle, blocks it, oh. yeah. <laughs> Took a risk there, it was kind of a toss up between dead angle and burst, and really neither of them were great options at yeah. that point when you're so low on life. He's like, man, I don't know what to do here, and this is bad, but hey, sometimes that's, the, that's what happens. All right, we're going to that third match. Yeah, so Lossal up a pretty quick 2-0 here. Yeah, right now this is an all Lossal. 
Oh no, no the burst was again. And that's definitely not the start you'd want. Losing a burst this early on, might, you're not gonna have it for quite a long time. Lost Soul trying to push Marlon Pie into the corner now. Smells blood in the water without the burst. Oh no! What? Goes for an H doesn't work. I assume that was a grab attempt. And now he's on life support already. Oh, misses the uh, rifle input, so no unblockable setup there, but okay. still has the corner pressure. Good IB from Marlon Pie on the Bryo Express, but oh wow, that sequence right there towards the end. Yeah, oh counter hit God. far slash into the grenade, into another far slash. So Lost Soul one round away here from advancing into grand finals. Okay, I like the IB from Marlon Pine. Unfortunately, doesn't, I assume he tried to go for a grab. Oh no, but this Lost Savage right now. All right, Insta blocks the shotgun H and challenges the far oh. slash, but the trade does not work out in his favor, and he's in trouble now. This is literally worse. Oh no, it's not like this. Go on, block one. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Okay, gets burst back and just in time. Oh, oh but oh, immediately oh. dies. So Lost Soul takes in a very quick 3-0 over Marlon Pie. Lost Soul's ridiculous. Hey, look, he's saying hi to the camera. That's, that's sweet. He's like, I did that to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but well, here we go. We're going to have a loser's finals. Yeah, so Marlon Pie going to stay put here. Kid Viper coming up to the stage. Kid Viper's like, oh, let me get out of the, let me get out of the stage real quick. Let me, uh, Kid Viper's like, oh, no. I'm, oh, wait, wait, wait. The camera's still going to Kid Viper anyways. <laughs> you can't escape. Kid. You can't escape, Jason. Sorry about that, son. KV patiently waiting. You cannot escape. He's giving us some advice. Well, maybe he's signing some secret anti Johnny strategy. No, KB's like, well, let me play, man. It's my yeah, turn. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's not your turn. You're in grand finals right now. Let me let me play this guy. All right. Uh, Lost Soul finally steps off to the side. KB gonna sit down. So again, this is gonna be losers finals. Johnny versus Zato. That's gonna be a good one. I am very familiar with this matchup. I play Fu all the time. It's a fun one. I like it. No, I actually think it's a fun. It's a, it's a fun matchup. Both players, both players are pretty. You know, one guy's trying to hit Little Eddie, desperately trying to kill Eddie, while I'm trying to avoid all his normals and try to get in at the same time. It's, yeah, that's it's the really big fun. sweeping normals that Johnny yeah, has. Yeah, exactly. And trying to use H puddle, which is traversing the ground, to, to avoid uh, Johnny's like two S and all that. It's a fun matchup. I actually like it. I think it's pretty even. Yeah, and so one thing uh, to talk about here is top eight. We had. Very, very nice character diversity. Yeah, uh, in, in the top eight, it was basically eight different characters. We yeah. saw Fu uh, does also play Johnny, but we saw him playing Leo. Yep. So eight different characters in top eight. It. And uh, in our top three here, I think we have, I would say, three best characters in the game. Do you agree? I agree. You got Johnny, Zato, Elfelt. Doesn't get much better than that. Not yeah, this it's, game. it's pretty hard to argue. These, these characters are kind of ridiculous. But it just goes to show you that even... With the top tiers, all the other characters are really pretty viable for the most oh, part. Oh, absolutely. So. Like you have Venom, who's like regarded as what? Mid? Uh, yeah, mid, upper mid, tier, mid, yeah. Mid high. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah, you know, Faust and yeah, Faust. Uh, yeah. Chip was there too. I mean, Chip's great. Yeah, yeah long, Sin, but. obviously, also very, very oh, strong. Sin, good old Sin. You know. All right, but here we go. Again, this loser's finals. It's going to be Johnny versus Zato. Are we going to have an all New York grand finals? Or, or KD has something to say about that? All right, quick knockdown with the counter hit uh, jump H. I was playing. Jason a lot in casuals. It was pretty back and forth. So I want to see it. Hopefully. Uh oh. And as I say, that gets an Dude. Oh, I like that. Try to catch the tech bonds with 2H. The unsummon 2H. Advancing forward to Mawaru. Okay. Nice. KD hits Eddie. Gets the corner throw. Reset. Yeah, he chucks him again. For those that know, you need a style specific combo to get him into the unblockable. I'm pretty sure KB has him. Oh. As I say that. Yeah, Zato's hitbox is very weird. Like when I play Fu, he was dropping Johnny combos all day because he didn't know that uh, Zato has a very specific hitbox. Nice. Oh, nice conversion. Oh, wow. Yeah. Great conversion. And as it too, Johnny has a big hitbox, so he's pretty easy to combo. Nice air throw. Marlon Pie trying to go in. Ooh, avoids the blitz. He gets him with a, it chips him out with Nobby Doo. And Marlon Pie built his whole burst back in that round, so about to get it back. Oh, wow, just tricky. Looks like he was going to ID over and then stopped his moment momentum with the uh, Shadow Gallery. I love Shadow Gallery and some of the situation like that. Especially if Little Eddie out. He's a good anti anti air. And Marlon Pie just kind of playing footsies with Eddie here. All Finally right. gets tagged. Nice grab, sees it coming. Okay. Nice low option there. Kid Viper opts to burst out. 
Gets the hit. Gonna take him to the corner. No, Marlon Piper is out. Good JK and air to air. Nice. Kills Eddie. Not too much of a punish. Good Viper doing a really good job of not getting locked down mid screen by Eddie pressure. Okay, let's see what he can do. Okay, Eddie is out. And again, kills him with 2S. Kid Viper trying to patiently advance forward here. Doesn't want to doesn't want to rush too quickly into a normal. Oh, but Kid Viper coming back. Oh, drops it. Just like I said, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure he's done those combos to me, but you know it is tough. Nice dead angle bait. All oh, tries to go for a dust. Doesn't quite work. 2H pressure. Marlon Pipe back dashes out. Okay, definitely great. This is definitely the start of good things. Nice conversion. There we go. That's what I want to see. All right. Nice air dash. Just like that. Kid Viper bringing it back. One round apiece so far. Yeah, these have been some long rounds, too, back and forth. Okay. All right, stuff's, yeah, stuff's the 6K with 2S in the beginning of the round. 2S two, two is the round star of champions, especially for Zotto players. 2S is the god normal. Unblockable okay. setup. Tries to back dash out, gets tagged anyway. Huge damage from Marlon Pye. Gets nice air throw. Ooh, a little too early on the knee, 5H. Yeah, absolutely. And right now, Marlon Pye is going to be eating a lot of damage right here. Good burst. Puts him in a corner. Oh, but he Ooh. gets chucked himself. Yeah, oh, air dash oh, 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 back. Oh. So tricky. Can he set up? No. Drops a combo at the end. Marlon Pye really looking to start oh, something Oh, raw here. summon. And it works. Again, just Kid Viper doing such a good job oh, of killing Eddie. The biggest of counter hits is 6H. Auto 6H, man. That, you feel it. Kills Eddie again. No, 5K right now. Monopoly's doing such a... Oh! Counter hit Nibiru. Yeah, that's the death combo. When you get counter hit Nobido on the ground, you're, you're done. You're so done. So even despite the fact that Kid Viper was doing a great job of killing Eddie over and over in the in the mid-screen, Marlon Pie still just able to get random hits with Zato. Yep. And uh, just kind of whittled them down. Didn't really see any, you know... We saw the one unblockable, but nothing really, you know, just start to finish. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Who's modifier do? Oh, wait, what's, what's he going to do right now? What, what is this? Going to his bag? Right next to the commentary station? What, what is he doing? What, what bag of tricks is he? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what he consumed, but he consumed something. And... Oh, probably gum, maybe? I mean... Okay, you want to choose some gum? I respect that, you know, hey. Wait, what is this? What is, what is going on here? I don't know what these guys are colluding on right now, but I don't like it. Yeah, I don't, know about is, you, I don't like it. I don't th like they're it. having a good time. You guys having a good time? Yeah, everyone's having have a good time. That's good. It's good thing to hear. I like the guy with the... <laughs> what are those? The yeah. two bomb things? Those balloon things that you can hit, hit together? I don't even know what those are called, but... All right, here we go. Going to game two. All right, here we go. All right. We're going to go to match two. Oh. oh. Burst barely whiffs there. Yeah, unfortunately, KB couldn't get the punish on the whiff, right, on the burst, but hey. Still in a good position. YRC is wind there. Nice conversion off the air hit Mawaru again. Alright, knock down towards the corner. Kid Viper switches sides. Nice, catches up coming out of break the law. Nice grab. Did a good, good chunk of damage. Gets a knockdown. Needy 2k. This is gonna hurt. Nice, gets the knockdown. OTG. Oh, tries nice to go block. Good stuff. Oh, blocks the burst. This is huge. Yeah, good chunk of damage. Oh, and he's still in the corner. Nobby do. Oh, it's the command grab. You gotta steal that. I like that. Yeah, so Marlon Pipe forcing Kid Viper back to the ground with a Nibiru. Very smart. 5k. Such a great start. It's it's really good at beating like low, low hitboxes. Yeah. Like 5k, there's very little Zato can do round start against 5k. Very, very little. I don't honestly know what he can do. Wow, right. Falls into Nibiru. Again, Nibiru. Nobidu is my favorite move. 
I said that a million times, but I'll say it again. That move, that move makes me feel ways. All right. Good misfinder. Treasure hunt. Oh, messes oh. up. Oh, he had the RC. Okay, but it's not over yet. Interesting use of blitz. About to get burst back. Ah, oh, this is a, this is a line move. Oh, okay. Nice OTG to get the coin. Okay, tech JK catches him low with the drill. Marlpai up 2-0. Yeah, when I was playing Kid Viper, it seemed like he wasn't too familiar with this matchup quite yet. You know, getting away with a lot of Zato specific matchup things, you shouldn't let him get away. But I feel like I feel like Kid Viper has he learns fast. Yeah, so one, th one thing I'm definitely noticing is he seems to be struggling a little bit with the Zato specific combos. That's one thing yeah. if you're trying to learn Johnny, he has a lot of character specific combos yep. to get the one hit ender to get the knockdown. Oh, that could have been the biggest damage. If he did Nobido into Shadow Gallery, that would have been the biggest. But you know, that's fine. Still in a good position. Nice air throw reset. Oh, nice bait on the on the grab, but doesn't quite confirm. Oh, 2H. Oh, misses the ID. Got a neutral jump instead of a jump forward. Treasure hunt. Again, oh, again. a little too far. He uses all the meter. All right, but he gets the knockdown in the corner, so not the worst. Catches him again. No conversion. Gets bursted. All right, there we go. Knockdown. Unblockable. Yes. That's right. a situation in that Zato cannot get out of. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of characters, actually. All right. Wow. Oh, that was really cool. Okay. Gonna get the right, knockdown. Gets the knockdown. There we go. TG for the coin. I like how uh, KB was trying to bait the tech button 6P there, but it doesn't quite work. Malapai has got. Oh, nice drill. Oh, wow. I, I like how he used the, the bait. Bait the dead angle. Doesn't quite work, but hey, still gets a knockdown. Dead man's dead hand. Dead man's hand. So tricky. My favorite move. All right, Eddie not available. Malapai just taking his time here. There we go. Conversion off the 2H counter hit. Yo, Kid Viper is not done yet. Just like I said, he learns fast. Oh, into Amorphous? Yo, you don't see that move very often. Yeah, that is a reversal. A very bad one, but yes, it is. <laughs> Gets caught first immediately. Okay. Nice. Summons to himself, not to the puddle. Catches Kid Viper trying to dash forward, and now he's in this pressure. Nice late air dash. Oh, the 6H. Kid Viper's still alive, though. 6H isn't the best normal in the game, but hey, it can work every once in a while. Okay, little Eddie out is out in play. Nice recall. Oh, tricks him. Does the Shadow Gallery to make it look like he messed up and then catches him with Mawaru. Yeah, I love doing that. Just Shadow Gallery, then release, release uh, kick. It just makes it safe for the most part. It's really hard to punish. Oh, Little Eddie just got coins. Good grab from Marlon Pond. All right, locks him down with the mini drill. Very plus on block. Sandwich pressure. Again, mini drill. Mawaru. Oh, oh this is going to hurt. Yeah, sets up unblockable. Nice blitz. That was a great blitz. I probably would like to see YRC into an unblockable to make it harder to blitz, but hey, you know what? Still in a fantastic position. More than fast. He is on the verge of taking it. First out of the pressure. Gets the hit. Okay, Marlin. Scary here for Marlin Pike. Gets hit. Oh, this this is bad. This is as bad as it gets. This should be over right here. Oh, and he, he tried to low blitz. He tried to low blitz when he got up, but it was meeting Mawaru. I think maybe he expected a drill. Yeah. Because drill is really the only thing there that you would have to low blitz. Everything else would be high blitz. Yeah, when I was playing, he tried to uh, low blitz my, uh, my drill all the time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so we're gonna have a. I'm sorry. Yeah, so tough, tough break there for Kid Viper, but still a great showing, third place. He's a hey man. He's like, we're trying to fist bump, dog. So, that guy's like, yo, don't do that to me. But yeah, he did really well, third place. Fantastic showing for Kid Viper. He did so well. Oh, we're gonna have an announcement on stage. Wow. All right, yeah. So gonna take a second before grand finals here. Oh, what's gonna happen? In it, oh, Rick with the mic. What's going on here? Rick, the beard man. We himself. all having a good time? So I think Guilty Gear is probably one of the most entertaining games we have. And I. Uh. Testing. Hey, there we go. So I think Guilty Gear is one of the most entertaining games we have. I also think Guilty Gear is a game that I'm terrible at.
So when I say that, you don't respect me for saying it. This game is here because Chicago's known for Guilty Gear. Chicago is known for Guilty Gear because of the Frosty Fostings crew. I want to give them a moment to talk to you because I think it's important that they get recognized for the fact that they're a big reason this is here and showcased this way. Can I have a second and a clap? Thanks, Rick. <clears throat> Thank you, everybody at Combo Breaker. I've lost my voice doing the best I can. Hope you guys have been enjoying this. We're here to tell you a little about, about Frosty Faustings 2017. It is Friday, January 27th and 28th. Today we're telling you about our new two-day format. No longer are we a one day or a one and a half day. We're two full days. So the 400 people that were hanging out at noon looking for something to do, we will entertain you. I'm going to hand it over to Elvin Shadow, who needs no introduction to tell you about our amazing new venue. What's up, guys? You having fun? All right, I'm going to tell you about some more fun we got coming up. Frosty Fausting's new venue at the Waterford Conference Center with the Clarion Hotel attached, okay? We've got a huge ballroom, okay? One ballroom, not many ballrooms, everything in one space, lots of space. And we, yes, all inclusive. And then we also got a big lobby area where we'll have room for vendors and lots of casuals. So you guys can run whatever side events, we'll set you up, we'll hook you up. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, in addition to that, um, in, yeah, we got, there's a huge parking lot. Lots of spaces and the parking's completely free. In addition to having all this, our prices are not gonna change. They're gonna be the same rate to register and everything as last year. So we just wanna pass uh, some good times on to you guys. And uh, nearby, there's a 24-hour diner. There's like a Walmart nearby. So, you know, you have stuff to do. It's going to be awesome. So we hope to see you guys January 27th and 28th next year. Thank you so much. We will be announcing our website <clears throat> September 1st. The registration will go live. You'll be able to get your hotel rooms. And no one can get a room who isn't a Frosty's guest. We have the entire hotel locked down. It's going to be sick, I promise you. Thank you. Are we back on? That's up. All right, so. <laughs> that wasn't me. Don't no blame me for that. That wasn't me. So shout out to those guys, Frosty Faustings. Yeah. If you're a fan of Guilty Gear, which I would expect you are if you're watching this, Absolutely. definitely check them out. Premier uh, Guilty Gear tournament. Obviously, Elvin Shadow there was in our top eight, so you know it's, you know it's legit. Yeah, it's going to be pretty good. Okay. You know, and just like I said, you know, Frosty Faustings is my first out-of-state tournament. It was the tournament that got me started on, like, to where I am now, basically. So I have a very, that place has a very special place in my heart. I love that place, so I go there every year. I went there last year, every, last two years. So I'm gonna be there next year, absolutely. I recommend every single one of you guys to go there. You know, I love the Midwest crew, fantastic, very hospital people. You know, Frosty Fouse is great. I can't wait for this two-day format. Awesome, that's great. Yeah, yeah, it's always a great showing as far as Guilty Gear is concerned, yeah. you know, so. No question. You know, we're gonna have a great Grand Files, a New York Grand Files. Yeah, and again, we talked about this. I think uh, a lot of people somewhat expected this, not that uh, there weren't a lot of people who could have broken this Grand Finals up, had a lot of great players in top eight, but I think these two were two of the favorites, definitely. Absolutely, and I, I can't think of paired players that are more deserving these two. They put the time, they put the work, they should be rewarded as such, so good stuff for them. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting to see, um, you know, it was pretty pretty clean 3-0 in winner's finals between these two. So yep. it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of adjustments Marlon Pike can make. I think Marlon Pike can make the adjustments. He's a smart player, he can do it. Yeah, I mean we talked about this before. We see them play in the you know the weekly tournaments uh, you know a few months back and Marlon Pai definitely tried a lot of different things, a lot of characters, different strategies, and he took some of those tournaments over Lost Soul, so it's not uh, that he can't do it. Yeah, it's not like it's impossible. You know. And um it's going to be interesting. Uh, right now, Lawson went to the bathroom, so we're going to wait until he comes back. You know, he's taking a little break, and um, that's fine. He'll be back real soon. So in the meantime, you know, we're going to be talking to you guys. Yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying the tournament so far. Again, this is uh, Combo Breaker 2016. Absolutely. The grand finals of uh, Guilty Gear. 
It's been an amazing top eight so far. I've seen a lot of great matches, a lot of great players. Yeah, fantastic top eight. Exactly what I wanted to see. So I'm actually really excited to see the grand final. I think, like I said, Marlon Pike can definitely come back. It's them not going to be free. I don't think it will be at least. Th this tournament overall has just been fantastic. The has average been. level Absolutely. of play at this tournament has been ridiculous. There were a lot of amazing players that didn't even make it out of pools. Yeah. The pools were super stacked. It was. And, it was uh, pretty rough. Yeah, top 16 was great. Just every, you know, every every player was great, really. Yeah, like it, there was a lot of great players that even make it out of the pools. Like it was that stack that anyone could win, anyone could lose. Like there's so many upsets, you know, for this grand finals. Oh, we got the players back. Sadly, got two, double cups of water, so that's gonna be good. You know, I'm. It's gonna be a fun one, at the very least. We're gonna oh, have a yeah. good time, you know. And Ryan Hunter, you know, like I said, thank you so much for commenting with me. It's going to be great, you know, saying this final match with you. You know, like I said, thank you. So it's going to be interesting to say the least. Always a pleasure to commentate with you, sir. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. All right. So it looks like the players are ready here. Okay. Heaven's Edge. Great stage. Okay, this is, of course, one of the new stages, Jacko's stage. Yeah. Okay. Marlon Pye heavily considering his musical options. It's very important. Very you know, important. Very important. That can win or lose matches. You gotta get yourself hyped up, right? Of course. For me, it's put Still in the Dark or Feel of Fear. Love those songs. All right, here we go. So Marlon Pye is gonna go with Zato here. Yep, it's gonna be a good one. Lost Soul, of course, going with Elfelt. All right, let's see what Marlon Pye can do differently here. Maybe you thought about it, you know, thought about the match a little bit harder. We'll see. Yeah, in, in winners' finals, we saw a lot of really unfortunate bursts. Didn't yep. really burst at the best times. So hopefully he can clean that up a little bit, get some better burst opportunities. All right, both players letting it go to intros again. Got to set that tone, like I said before. I like it. Favorite code again. Yeah. <laughs> I will show you darkness. All right, let's go. Grand finals. Oh, nice, nice instant block, yeah. Definitely a throw punish. Although A takes it, but hey, at least he gets a grab out of it. Yeah, sometimes the, those trades are in your favor when you kill Eddie, but then get a small punish from Zato. Sometimes in your favor, but generally in the corner, it's not going to be because he's going to be able to waste so much time by knocking you down that uh, killing Eddie doesn't really factor into it. Nice use of Nobby, dude. Counter it, Nobby does so much damage. Accidentally landmines. Not gonna have a little Eddie for quite a while. Really nice there. Uses Break the Law to avoid the rifle, and then Wire Season gets a punish with a drill. Nice, nice knockdown. knockdown. Ooh, catch them coming out of the Blitz. Nice, All right. Marlon Pie. Yeah, Marlon Pie doing a great job chasing him down with Eddie. Okay. Good first match. That 2S was almost in range. 2S again, trying to keep him in the corner, but he texts forward out. Ooh, misses his tech opportunity. Yeah, burst that. Doesn't want to get knocked down. Oh, 6K! <laughs> okay. Nice mash out. Yeah, good mash out from Lostal from the 6K. Gets out of the stagger and avoids it. Kills little Eddie. Oh, mm. clips him. Yeah, it gets caught coming out to break the law. Alright, knockdown. Fawaru. Tricky setup there. Does get the knockdown, though. Okay, gets the air, doesn't quite get the knockdown because if you get hit by the drill in the air, it does not knock you down. Nice okay. sniper. Good Very patience there by Marlon Pie. Didn't yeah, want to fall into the rifle. Oh, that was so good. Doesn't quite get the combo. Turns into pressure though. Nice. Catch up with a drill. And Marlon Pie takes the first match. Alright, so Marlon Pie looking good to start this run back. Making it interesting. Got a lot of work to do still. Yeah, he has quite a lot of matches to win. Alright, let's see what he's got. Oh, just round start sweep doesn't work out for Marlon Pie. Takes far slash. Yeah, pressure with far slash. Oh, tries to go for the air grab with nice late tech from Muscle to avoid it. Okay. All right, nice challenge with 2P. Pushing forward with Eddie. Oh, nice. nice wire seize. Yeah, wire sees the sniper. 6P. A little too far for Shock and S. Nice. Again, a good challenge with 5P that time. 
All right, gets hit by the Blitz. I love that mix-up when you knock him down, but the Blitz just completely nullified it. Break the law. Gets a knockdown. Push him towards the corner. Eddie about to run out. Dead man's hand. Small could, combo. Could use a dead man's hand, but the only bad thing is that it does throw them out of the corner. Oh, wow, accidental wow. input. Yeah, that could not have been on purpose. And now you're at the mercy. Yeah. Mercy of Zotto doing what he wants. And we saw that in... Oh, Ooh. blocks the burst. We saw that in winner's finals. Uh, Lost Soul was getting hit by that low option multiple times, so... Yeah, right now, Milo play playing out of his mind. Is he going to reset this bracket? I mean, it's too early to tell, but so far, so good. Nice. Pressures while he's holding the grenade. Uses it for the knockdown. Yeah, that was smart. I like the use of... Uh oh Count it, Nobidu. Little Eddie is out, though. Gets a counter hit 6P. Gets a knockdown. Not going to have Little Eddie back. Right now. Ooh, all right. Pie. Well, just as we say that, Lasso gets a knockdown he wants. Yeah, this is what Lasso was looking for. It's a very scary situation right now. Nice, again, instant block into 5P. Yeah, great challenge for Marlon Pie. Yeah, Marlon Pie doing a great job of neutralizing the shotgun pressure. Oh, oh gets hit by the overhead. Great pickup. Oh, but drops it. Oh, 6P has been putting so much work on Yeah. So much work. Uh, tries to knock him into the grenade explosion, but slight miss time, but still gets the kill. Blows himself up, but hey, it doesn't matter in the end. Okay. All right, both locked the neutral right now. Oh, gets a counter at Nobidu. 2H on the wire C. Yeah, burst out does not want to get knocked down in the corner. Whoa, grabs yep. him out of the start you of the shadow gallery. You can grab shadow gallery. You absolutely can. That's one of the weaknesses of shadow gallery. You can chuck it. Wow, Marlon Pai's defense against Shotgun in the corner has been impeccable so far. Yeah, it's like he was doing all the right things. Yeah, that was the first time that Lost Soul went for the command grab and Marlon Pai jumped out. Nice FD's the 6H. Marlon Pai trying to pressure after the grenade pull. Okay. Lost Soul getting pushed to the corner. Oh, gets hit by counter hit oh, oh, with a 2H gets stopped by the Elfelt's jump normals. All right, trading Elfelt's favor there, gets the knockdown again. Oh, Marlon Pai. I just out of the way. Again, gets out of the shotgun pressure. All right, gets caught here, but mid screen not going to be too big of a combo. Right, okay. Forces out for the block, which unsummons Eddie. He's looking really tough. For oh, but great challenge. Oh, and he gets a knockdown. Lossel not blocking. Yeah, Lossel forced to burst the pressure there. Scary situation for Marlon Pai right now for both. Oh, that almost worked. Yeah, Marlon Pai tried to wire C there just to slow down the approach, but that wasn't was enough. Just in time, right? Just not in time. Okay. Lost all taken. Marlon Pai looks deep in thought. Yeah, I have to say Marlon Pai's defense against the shotgun was perfect that entire game, though. It was. It which was which really, really says good. a lot, because that means that Lost Soul really won that match, that, that game off of just the neutral game and random yeah. hits and just playing really smartly yeah not, very well not just running them over with shotgun in the corner which we've seen so many times yeah that's a that's usually a staple nowadays but you know Marlon Pai is showing that he knows his matchup he's lapped this matchup we're gonna see what he does now he's still thinking right now which is exactly what a smart player does just take your time think about what happened you know think about what went wrong in that situation I don't blame him good decision yeah, he's really taking his time wants to think about all the situations that didn't go his way, what, what he could have done differently, what other options he has. Yeah, and I, I'm curious, honestly. I'm curious of what he's thinking about. Cause, you know, oh, but here we go. They're going right into it. Nice back right, back dash, start of the round. Yeah, tries to punish the 5H with 2S, but not quite close enough. Lost Soul opting to go into shotgun mid-screen. Nice. Nice, Nobiru. Yeah, combos the trade. Just, I love it how his use of uh, no, of Eddie there, you know, did a drill and then immediately released S when he saw the instant air dash. Gets a great trade. All right, but Lost Soul locking him down in the corner with shotgun, or with a uh, grenade, I mean. Okay, gets a knockdown. Nice, super jump. Air dash is out. Okay, what's the pressure? Now he's trying to push Lost Soul into the corner. Jumps out of Deadman hand, but gets caught by 2H. So tricky. Yeah, 2H is really good. Oh, using all the meter right now. Oh, Lasso going right into those buttons. Marlon Pai missing the air grab there. Ooh, a little bit of a scary burst there, but works out. 
Yeah, and Marupai on the offensive here. Lossal with no resources. Nice block in the 6k. Trying to work his way out of the corner. Instant blocks, oh, 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 oh. Instant blocks the bridle. Tries to throw punish. But uh, Lossal jumps out. Gets tagged by the 6h instead. Okay. Marupai looking really good right now. 6h. Gets a grenade. Nice oh, air grab. Fantastic air grab from Marupai. Ooh, accidental damn thing. Oh, I know that feeling. It still gets a good... Lots of damage off the counter at W. Oh, but Coast Slash. Nice, and again, pokes out with 2P. Yeah, nice instant block and 2Ps immediately to get out of the shotgun pressure. There are lots of knowledge being shown for Fallen Fire right now. All right, tagged a little bit there, no big deal. Works his way around the grenade. Fallen Fire summons, pushing Lossal back now. And I like Lossal there throwing the grenade down to stop the approach by Eddie. Oh, oh this, this is gonna, gonna hurt. Combo, yeah. This is gonna hurt. No burst available. Oh, OTG's him though. Yep, gets the knockdown from RC. Alright, another opportunity for Marlon Pie. Pushing towards the corner. Dead man's hand so far away. So many dead man's hands right now. I'm okay with this. I'm 100 percent okay with all these D hands. Oh, oh nice through. roll. Oh, wow. The bridal hits Eddie. Yeah, and, I was surprised uh, to see little Eddie Punch come out. I thought Nobody would be joined if you try to tag it, but, you know, hey. Yeah, Marlon Pie misses opportunity there when the bridal hit Eddie to punish. Okay. Oh, counter hit. This is going to hurt. Oh, but here comes Lost Soul. Look at this damage right here. Oh, again with the OTG. Slight miscalculation on the combo, but gets another hit. Drop again. Hey, it worked, right? <laughs> it gets a perfect. Lost Savage. All right, he's on tournament point now. Oh, he's saying, well, I need one more. He saw that with his fingers. He's like, no, no, I need one more. Who dare to chug that water right now. Just chug the whole thing. Marlon Pie going back to character select. Maybe considering another character? No. We, I, talk, we talked about no this way. earlier. I, I, we've seen it before in the New York tournaments. He's experimented with other characters against Elfel. That's true, but I honestly don't think he's going to do it here. Not here. Not with, this, not with so much on the line right now. No way. It is worth considering, though. I agree. I agree. Especially when you know a player like Marlon Pie has so many characters that he's very, very proficient That's with. True. I see him play Slayer as well. I see him play a very good Slayer, so hey. You get the, he has a lot of great characters under his belt. All right, let's see what he's got. Marlon Pye, not, not, not about to go out without a fight. Oh yeah, he's certainly not out yet. Nice counter at 2S. Two, two Shadow Gallery gets Nabu. Oh, little Eddie gets Duff. He was, he was in underground a little too long, Ryan. You can't wire C when you're underground for the little for all oh, that air grab. Yeah, though. they changed that from the original version. Yeah, from 1.0. Nice blitz back. Oh, but he gets grabbed. I wonder why he went. He charged it all the way when Lawson yeah, did have not meter. have the meter. Yeah, exactly. There's no need for that. Just blitz normal and then hit him. Maybe trying to come out. Oh, six H burst. Nobu. Yeah, counter hit Nibiru. Lawson just trying to get back down to the ground. Catch him with jump D. Oh, this big combo. Yeah, burst out. Counter at 2H is the money. That is the money. One time to the animal water, but it trades. So nice. Eddie gets a 2K. Yeah, Eddie was not available, but didn't need it. Marlon Pie, not giving up. Nice, just dash up 5H, punches the summon. Oh, wow. Gets the dust. This should bring him back down to the ground. No, he drops it. And he grabs Gets him anyways. Reset. All right, still his turn. Oh, catches him jumping. Pulls a grenade. This is tough for Marlon Pai right now. This is absolutely difficult. Oh, and a nice adjustment there by Lost Soul, because that's what Marlon Pai was doing. He was instant blocking the Shotgun H and then doing 5P. So there, Lost Soul did Shotgun H, and then he did Shotgun P. Oh, smart. Definitely a smart usage of, of Elf Pelt's Shotgun Stance normals to throw off Marlon Pai good stuff. Yeah, I like that adjustment. Okay. Now we do. Yeah, catch them holding the grenade. I like the use of recall there. He knew he was going to blow up. So he's like, okay. All right. Yeah, just took the knockdown. Little Eddie should be back real soon. Yep. yep. Reverse summons. Wow. He actually grabbed him out of close slash. Yeah, he hit. Little Eddie took the hit. <laughs> that was really neat. Oh, he could have reversed summons, but he didn't. Marlon Pai still looking real good to take this game, though. This game is still very much in Marlon Pai's favorite situation. Little Eddie out right now as we speak. 
Yeah, first oh. out of the pressure, but Marlon High was ready. Oh, wait, what? what Missed input. Oh no. Oh, oh no, he thought he was gonna be in the air. Oh, I see. That's unfortunate. Is it still Marlon Pie's game to win? Uh oh. Oh, oh this is surprising to get thrown there. He just came out just in time. Alright, but we have Eddie pressure here in the corner. And gets the should hit, should be able to finish, and he does. One game away from resetting. Alright, so Marlon Pie's still in it. All right. This would be a good set. Now this is not over yet. He might just reset it. He just very much right reset. Monopoly, like I said, such a quick learner. Look, he's already a lot better than the first set they played in winners. A night and day. All right, game five. Oh, Opens up with 6-H. Great start with that 6-H. Oh, oh, blocks the burst. This could be a real bad start for Marlon Pie. If he gets hit again, he does. Now he's knocked down in the corner. Grenade pressure. Gets hit. And he confirms as well. Gets a knockdown. What's going to be? Oh, he doesn't even need it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And a very quick perfect. Lost Soul wants to end this right now. He he's does done. not want to give Marlon Pie the opportunity to reset. He is done reset. with this. Like, no more. We had fun. Lost Soul with that perfect. Just missing the close slash anti air. Oh, good. Gets caught holding the grenade again. And like you said before, the unsummon being yes, used so after the grenade explodes. Dead man's hand to make him recall. Yep. Oh no, oh, but he missed. Whiffed. Oh, oh this my is huge. god. This is huge. This is a this is wait. Nice. Jumps out of the command grab. That was cool. Alright. Mawaru. I think uh, Marlon Pipe might have been trying to bait the dead angle there, but it works out against the command grab. Sets up the unblockable. This game is not over yet, even though Marlon Pipe is looking real nice right now. Oh, smacks him out, Shadow Gallery. Smacks him again, tries to go for an air grab. 2H! Oh no. Lossal. 6P. Oh, this no. is looking tough. Oh, oh and he gets a counter hit. Marlon Pipe still a long way from getting burst. Oh, is he going to come back on him like this? Catches him. Is That's it? it. Wow. And Lossal comes back in that round to take it. Lossal nodding his head like, yeah. That's what I meant to do. Yeah, so Marlon Pie getting his burst uh, blocked and just didn't get it back. So great showing there by Lost Soul. Takes the tournament. Like we said earlier, probably yep. the favorite to take the tournament. Absolutely. You know, let's get that top eight up there. You know, what a fantastic showing. Great stuff to Lost Soul for winning the tournament. He absolutely deserves it. Shout out to East Coast. Shout out to Discord. Shout out to Marlon Pie for also being a great final set. Almost reset it. So it was definitely entertaining to watch. It was not free by any means. Absolutely. Marlon Pie can't be too upset. Yeah, definitely. Second not. place. Yeah, it's still definitely a great showing. You know, second place, just second to Lost Soul. I wouldn't be mad with that. It's tough to have. You know, we have KB there. We have the top three. All right, good stuff. And I see Rick here holding the medals. Oh, that's awesome. But yeah, this was a fantastic tournament. We talked about it before. Just the yep. average level of play. It was ridiculous. All weekend has ridiculous. been. Yeah, it has just been fantastic. So. Really, if, if you're a fan of Guilty Gear, I think this is one of the premier Guilty Gear tournaments throughout the year. I think this Guilty Gear was easily the most stacked, for, I think, for free. Like, just pound for pound, every pool was just ridiculous. Yeah. So, you know, good stuff. I love this tournament. This tournament was great. I went to Combo Breaker my first last year. That was our first Combo Breaker last year, and we both enjoyed it. We came back, and look, better than last year. Yeah, it, it's actually, that that's worth talking about. It, it's unbelievable. Last year, Combo Breaker was... A fantastic tournament. It was, it was, just, it was crazy. It was so much fun. The venue was great. The tournament was great. So well run. And they really just went to another level this year. New venue. Everything was just taken to the next level. It was. It's just... They literally did better in every possible way. Yeah. Which was very hard because last year was pretty cool. For yeah. bringing a first year event, it was ridiculous. Exactly. And I remember talking to Rick. He's like, no, I'm going to make it even better. And that he did. Good stuff to end on. Yeah, so if you've never been to Combo Breaker, definitely highly recommend if you can make it out next year. Take All a look right at our, our top eight up here. Rick giving out the medals. How cool. That's awesome. Black Snake and Elven Shadow there repping the Frosty Fasting shirts. This is hella good. Oh, I wonder if I'll get a medal for getting top eight in BB. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I play this game. But, you know, good stuff. Look at everyone getting their medals right now. Very deserving top eight. Very strong players. Look at players, the sick trophy. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool looking. Look at that thing. There you see our top three. Kid Viper, Marlon Pie, Lost Soul. Oh, the triumphant, look at that. the triumphant look at that. raise of the trophy. That's your champion, everyone. That's awesome. So congratulations to Lost Soul taking yet another tournament. Absolutely. You know he's well deserving top eight. 
All right, guys, but I think we're wrapping it up here for Guilty Gear. Yes, Stay tuned. Are. Skullgirls Top 8 is coming up next. That's going to be going. awesome. The exhibition the other night was, oh, that was, was super cool. Yeah, That was ridiculous. Yeah. All the right, right, right the way is, oh, look at that. All right, guys. So stay tuned for Skullgirls Top 8. We're going we're gonna to tag out here. Hope you guys enjoyed Guilty Gear once again, and we'll see you next time. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for watching this commentate. Thank you guys so much, and have a good one.